Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mutants and meta humans of all ages, shapes, and sizes, it is time for the most spoilerific show on YouTube. And if you have any questions for any topics, hit us up on Twitter. What up with your YouTube and YouTube bus? It's your boy Triple Cup Chuck, and I'm up. And you're tuning in to the Roy Vibration Podcast, where we talk about Marvel, DC, comic books, anime, video games, and more. Welcome to our home of Lavo. Let's go. First up. I want to introduce the big homie, the one that know how to flip that money. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, flip money, introduce yourself, and let them know they can find you at homie. Yo, yo, what's going on? This your boy, Flip Money. You know you can always find me here on the Horror Vibration Podcast, of course. You can find me on Twitter, Flip Money 1975. You can also find me on Xbox Live, Flip Money Online. And you also can be following me over here playing the anthem with my good brother, Savage. I got this okay. game, so fuck all y'all now. Yeah, he, he on that he, he in that anthem life. He in that anthem life. Y'all ready? Y'all ain't ready for this one here. They ain't ready for you. Next up, next up, we got this boy here, Juggernaut in Destiny, and right here, right now, he look like he gonna be a Juggernaut in his anthem. You know what I'm saying? Let him know what level you at, and let him know um let him know where they can find you. I ain't gotta say his name. That's how that's how amazing this boy is in here, man. Go ahead and give it to him. What up with y'all? This is Savage. You're in. You know what I'm saying? You can catch me at Savage Carter225 on Twitter. You can catch me at Savage Carter on the Xbox, you hear me? And you can always catch me here on the whole Road of Vibration podcast. Now, for this anthem, right now, I'm rocking uh, four, 490. That's my power level. I'm, master, I'm a masterwork. a masterwork ranger. Okay, that that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, and then Savage caught he in a podcast, and y'all got to give this man his respect right now, B- simply because y'all don't realize, you know how hyped and how live we been. This man got a headache, and he willing to put up with our bullshit right now with a headache. So y'all got to say this man here is dedicated to this here. But on um, we for to go ahead and move on to this other person here. So you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and pull that shit from Pluto and introduce yourself. Let them know they can find you at Chaos Gore. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Chaos God, and I'm here for your comic book, 30 Minutes. We're going to have a good show tonight, so uh, make sure you stay tuned for the whole show. Hey, 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 Flip and Savage, I told y'all. I did not tell y'all that's what he was going to do. Did not tell y'all. Y'all got to get to me. I'm not your diamonds. I'm not your diamonds. Yeah. Hey, say Savage. Oh. Uh, now, Flip, do yeah. y'all know what we was talking about? I said after all, uh, you know, saying the circumstances, what you had did, Flip, and you know, yeah. saying so get him to where he was at, what he been up yeah. to. Didn't I say him next time he said, God, he gonna have he gonna have all the bass in his voice he got. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Damn. Hey, we know why. Hey, got him. Got him again. I, 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 I ain't even at this time. I didn't even have to say nothing. <laughs> yeah. oh, <laughs> man. Man. I was just trying to. I was just trying to. I was trying to switch things up a bit, man. I was trying yeah, to be we, random. Hey, Dang. it's amazing how I knew you was gonna do it this week. I amazing. Yeah, a brother can't do nothing now. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's up, man. It's up. But hey, let me go ahead and get to the special guest we got in here tonight with us, man. We got the boy. He's new to YouTube. He's not. He don't do podcasts, but he love anime. He love comics. He love Marvel DC. So we finna give it up to you no know saying his homie Judah, the ghost man. Go on, introduce yourself. And let them know they can find you at. What's up, man? Um. From Baton Rouge, I stay in Texas now. Uh, I'm a big old geek, man. And uh, like like he said, my name is Judah underscore the ghost. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. And uh, I just came over here to put my two cents in. These these dudes here, man, they good. They they seem like good people, man. And I plan on doing this, you know, in the future with them. So. Okay, that that's what's up. That's what's up. No, I'm saying that that's that boy Judah the Ghost, might Say Joe, um, what you been on? Um, like, what's what you been up to recently? Like what you been watching? Like some of the some of the shows that you have been going. So no, I'm saying so we can get to the mind of Judah. Man, I've been watching Umbrella Academy, Doom Patrol, um, a lot of different things. I mean, like if we going off of anime or whatever, uh, you know, stuff like that. What's I've some of the animes you've been watching. Oh man, it's, it's, it's this new show called Dororo. It's Dororo. like this. 
Yeah, this dude, like, um, his his dad, his dad, um, he wanted power, and he basically sold his soul to the uh, the demons, and he was like, man, you can have whatever, whatever, but his wife was pregnant, and um, what happened was, when his son was born, like, the demons took his eyes, his hands, his legs, and stuff like that, and they tried to kill the little infant. And uh, he ended up living in a boat, and he grew up to be, like, this, like, swordsman or whatever, like, this blind swordsman. And, like, he killing all the demons to get his body parts back. And so each demon he fight, he get, like, his ears back, his mouth back, his legs back, stuff like that. So that's what I've been watching lately. Oh, shit, that, that, that one got a nice, um, nice concept. You, you heard, what about you, Savage? You heard of that? No, I ain't never heard of that. Yeah, he said that, that, that one, what, recently just came out? Is that on Netflix? Um, I use this uh site called Kiss Anime. So, I mean, I could I could send you the link. I mean, I'm, I'm familiar that. with it. Yeah, that that that's a good site to use. That's a real yeah. good site to use. Yeah, they just it's not, uh, like it's not like something that I've seen on Netflix. It might be on. Like, I don't know if it's on Netflix. But it's not like, it's yeah, maybe on. Hey, hey, oh, say flip, you kind of biting a little bit. What you were saying? Huh? No, I just said it sound like something that was on. You start going in slow motion. Oh, uh, who me? Oh, uh, yeah, you. I said it sound like it sound like something that it was sound like something was on Netflix or something like that. That's what I was thinking of. Like it was sound like something like that, similar to Netflix. I, okay. I mean, I got one more for y'all. I got one more for y'all. Um. It's called The Rising of the Shield Hero. I watched it. You watched it for real? Yeah. yeah. You like it? Yeah, it just the certain episodes piss me off every now and then. It's the <laughs> stuff that be going on. Man, how how what what happened? What was going on to make the piss you out? Remember Man, the show I, mean, was horrific, I, so I, I honestly don't want to talk about that on this show. <laughs> oh, is <it's>, it <laughs> Is that bad, uh, good brother? Yeah, it's extreme. So, uh, if y'all want to see some extreme eye but um mm -hmm. popping out your eye socket stuff, that's um, what what was the name of the show you said it was? The Rise, the Rise and the Sheer Hero. Yeah, right. yeah. I think I'm gonna dodge down with so uh, I'm gonna let the people that it's a good show, man. No, nah, it's a good it's show, right. bro. It's just some of the stuff that go on. Hey, I, I ain't like the first I episode how they play y'all, boy. Like, some shit I don't want to see. Shit. Yeah, a couple of episodes I didn't like the way they played that dude. Yeah, I, I, but you know what? Like I seen the first episode and I thought dude was gonna be a pushover because he came in there goofy as hell. But like when they when they hit him with yeah, those not, like not those false hitting, charges, yeah, now nah, he a monster. Yeah, now nah, he a, <laughs> like that's what I like about him. <laughs> like now nah, he a monster. He ain't playing no games. <laughs> You're like yeah, everything y'all heard about me bad. Believe all it. Go tell all your friends I'm terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, he making a name for himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what about you, Flip? What you been up to? Anthem. Yeah. <laughs> and Crackdown. Anthem and Crackdown. Hey, 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 give me your philosophy crackdown. about the anthem, uh, Flip. What was your philosophy? How you um, how you said the, the way you was going to um, go by um, oh, Anthem? oh, oh, no, no. Hey, hey, hey listen, here. ain't no secret out there. People out there, if you got your 10 hour trial, it is my belief that, listen here, I'm going to do my 10 hour trial before I buy the game. I'm going to finish my hour. I stress that thing out there in there, there, in there two weeks. <laughs> and Savage yeah, would yeah. tell you, <laughs> I stretch that thing out <laughs> until the game came out. Like, nah, dog. It ain't after the game came out. I said, I'm going to keep on doing it until it's over. And now that it's over, yeah, I got that thing. And it's looking very beautiful. It's looking real beautiful, man. Even though Good Brothers, uh, even though Good Brother Savage doing all the work right now. Yeah, he 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 on all the work for you, huh? Yeah, yeah mean, listen here. Yeah, but that ain't no bad thing. Cause shit, I, I do the exact same thing. Every year when I buy Madden, I play mm -hmm. my 10 hour trial. After my 10 hour trial over with, then I purchase the game. Because sometimes <laughs> I'll be playing, sometimes I don't be having nobody to play. So I might not play Madden every day, but when I do play it, I'll play a 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. So when I do buy the game, I'd have, I'd have got it like, you know, I can, might get it for cheaper. So you might as well play your 10 hour trial. You pay for it anyway. I did that with Battlefield as well. 
Battlefield Five, the last one that came out. Oh yeah, well listen here, ain't nothing wrong with it. Listen here, I only paid fifty fifty three something dollars through EA Access. So I'm like, hey, listen, I'm gonna take advantage of it since I only got EA Access for a month. So I said, listen here, let me get that real quick. Right then, even even with EA Access, five dollars, right? And um, that's taking right. least, that's taking the money off of them. So basically, the five dollar for EA Access for a whole month is paid for itself if you was gonna purchase Anthem. So now you can get the dibble and dabble in on all the games in EA bought for a little while for a whole month on top of having that. Even even if you don't want to, it's there. Shout out to Dr. Right. Vodka for giving me EA access for free. Yeah, shout out to Dr. Vodka, man. That's that's the homie, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So what um so what about you, Chaos? I see you got your microphone mute. Oh, uh, uh, what I've been up to? Yeah. Um he uh, me that pig that he got hooked up with. Get out of here. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, dang, now I lost my thought. Oh, yeah, I've been playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Been going through my playthrough of that on Legendary. I'm trying to uh, rank all these characters up. Uh, I've been uh, on this GTA life trying to grind. And uh, just watching Umbrella Academy. I guess that's really about it. Yeah. Hey, so since you um, uh, what ep what episode have you got to in Umbrella Academy? I got to eight where she just uh where she just uh where the dude was getting beat the hell up and then she, uh Vanya unleashed her power and With right the dudes yeah and uh oh dude uh. Oh dude in the uh in the bag because he got he had gotten shot when he was uh back in time, uh being that at that management job. That whole stuff was crazy. Like that uh, number five, man, he a badass. I don't care what nobody say. That's probably like one of my favorite dudes right there. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody is listening that haven't seen Umbrella Academy, this is a really, really good show. It it blew my expectations because I I didn't I went in with my expectations real low thinking it's gonna be a Marvel clown or whatever but it actually is good and um that made me want to go back and invest into the comic books so we finna we finna hop on this hill and even though chaos have not finished watching the show this broadcast right here we I'm don't care you know, we don't spoiler. Remember this word. This show is spoiler rip it so we gonna go the whole in. thing we're gonna start straight off with this umbrella academy man so um when y'all when y'all seeing it, did y'all expect for it to have that many twists, um, twists nope. and turns and stuff up in the, nope. in the show? Caught me by surprise, bro. Caught me by it surprise. Got, it caught you by surprise. Mm -hmm. I was gonna watch one episode and, and leave it alone, but then I was like, man. When it, old it, boy came back from the um the little portal that he made or whatever, coming back to the you know the past or so. the future. Right, yeah. so, um, he was with the um he was with the uh uh the future uh the somewhat of a um time cop a temporal time cop they they scan time to make sure everything goes the way they want it to go yeah oh tomorrow like with mary j blige now right yeah they they like temporal they like temporal time cops hey man okay. it wasn't me or uh, did mary j blige she looked it funny like that role didn't fit her but at, at the same time you just wanted to hear her own like you she did a good job. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did a good job. Yeah, did did, yeah. job. I, 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 I'll, I'll put it, 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 it. You know what? Like this, I was shocked. Her blood got like a but I was shocked when I was looking at it. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, throw them legs up again. Go ahead, do it again. Go on the roll. Do it again, baby. I was dying when they were high. When they were high and they were dancing in that lab, I was rolling. I couldn't take it. I couldn't say that was funny for me. That was you when they were doing uh, which scene you said chaos when they were high and they went to that lab because <laughs> they ate the boy uh weed chocolate. Yeah, y'all don't think it's messed up that dude was on the moon for like four years? <laughs> oh nah, man, yeah, for Come nothing. On. Yeah, for nothing. yeah. Oh, like, you know what it was? They um, it, on the overall look, the way he was on the moon for four years. I, I was looking at they, they got a uh, 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 he had an actual plan for why he had him on the moon. And I'm thinking it's like he had to keep him safe, and the only way he could do that was for him to send him out. You know what I'm saying? Like protective custody. So I was looking at like everybody kept saying like the old man was an ass, the old man was an asshole. They wanted to spit on his grave. They was mad. They didn't want to come, and he had to go to such strange 
measurements to get the whole family back together. So um, my question is, what what do y'all think that the old man, like, how do he know this? Why y'all think he know this? I think I think he wanted those time people. You think he wanted the time people? The, I mean, I don't. I haven't read the comment or not, uh, the, the comics or nothing like that. But that's what I think. Right. I mean, all of us going in here with fresh eyes, and that and to me, that it's kind of refreshing to go in a show f- with fresh eyes. That's 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 what I'm liking so much about it. But I, I he might be one of the time people, and or what you think left the time time people and 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 try to do his own thing or something. I, yeah, I think he well, was. Well, I think he was hiding and trying no, to uh, build for the scene. No, no, you got to realize. No, but you got you got to pay attention to like the flashback. Do you see the flashback when he was young? When he came to the United States and, and opened up that store, yeah, yeah, I he seen opened that. up that academy. He opened yeah. up the academy. Now, whether if he was, he was going around. He, it, I, I don't know what type of special ability that he has or how he figure out this. And that. You, you could be right, but I, I mean, you know, from from him being a foreigner or whatever, he was going down to every person that had. Like, I don't know how he knew the children had powers. Maybe that's his ability, the sense or sense to know if whoever got powers or not or whatever because he was going around collecting them babies he knew exactly what their power was and what they was able to do so he was going around collecting them like like you know what like, i think you know what it might be a flip because you remember that? on the team before that before he came to america when they were showing him sitting there talking to his uh, wife right that, that's who she was I, I guess and then he looked out the window when he looked out the window they were showing a bunch of rockets shooting off in the air explosions yeah yeah so I'm wondering if he was in the future and he came to the past with That's our friends. What I'm saying. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, but he might, yeah, but then and how, that probably how he knew the um the special kids because he was saying like all the kids that was born on a certain day were at a certain time and all this, you know, saying uh um, what if that's his, and stuff. What if that's his power? He can see the future. But here's oh, but here's the other thing. Power. If he that's was good. if he was if he had went to the past, then that means he'd be altering the timeline, and that means right. the dudes would have to send some uh, some assassins to get after him. Right, and nobody, and he never. Well, he well, let's look at it like this. Yep. Maybe they did. They just didn't they did. show us until T season two might, you know, open that up and let us show show us that that that, that that's a that's a strong possibility. <laughs> I'm thinking he was one of the forty two. You think so? Yep, I think so. I mean, that's, think that's about it. Kids. It was forty-two kids, 42. and they only got seven. Right. But I thought he was the one that was trained. Well, you know what? Damn, you might be right. But yeah, he, he got that. Why he probably older? You know how the the the, the other boy, the older one, right? Yeah, you know how he. Right. Uh, Just think about it. He body. sat there and explained time travel to that little dude, like it was nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he told him he wasn't ready. Yeah. yeah then you think about yeah. it. He explained that to the dude that uh that was uh that could talk to ghosts. He said that you didn't much touch the power, the potential, of the power that you have. Like he kind of knew all these things. He's about to do that could speak to the dead people. Yeah, I think he, he can. I think he people. can speak more. I think he can speak. He was more talking to, the to the his brother. People. Yeah, he was talking to his brother. Not only mm-hmm. he can speak to the dead people, he, he knew how to open them up and channel them to use their power. Yeah, the, that's he was using his yeah, power. That's what I'm saying, yeah. You see but, how he did that? Um. That octopus thing at the um the theater. Yeah, that, was, that, that was his brother. Yeah. That was the younger one. Man, yeah. that was Ben. It's Ben, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Because he was, was he was that. one of the um one of the seven, right? And then he right. got killed somehow. But I remember because he he was the one that going to the he wanted when they went to that room and he turned into the octopus and he got the blunt throwing everybody against the wall and stuff. And he must have died. And when he died, you know, saying that's when the one that see goes. He actually so- re. Reconstructed him, reconstructed his atoms to actually give him a physical form to actually touch and grab things. So his power might be he could bring the dead back to life. Right. By, yeah, right. that's what I was about to say. Yeah, I think he can bring the dead, dead back to life. Right. Well, yeah. Uh, okay. That's what I was about to say. I think Ben coming back ain't no reason to have have Ben in there if he wasn't coming back in some sort of way. Exactly. Exactly. That's right. what I thought too. And then it, um, oh, and then the way the daddy killed himself, that means he. Must know that by you know the one that can bring people back, he he must got an exit route. He gotta have a plan because he look like he too thought out. Or uh, it might be something to do with how they ended it and what they gotta do to alter stuff. That might because I don't think that the uh the daddy that that the asshole he gone. I don't think he gonna completely gone. I think he, he still got a lot more to do too. 
Because think about it. Because think about it. He may he he may have been an asshole, but he uh -huh. he he was never he was never really kind of wrong in what he was doing. He always exactly. had. He always knew he, what he was doing. He never left anything to chance that he knew exactly what he was doing. Right. And all he, this was planned. All this was planned. Yeah, yeah. Every, everything was down to a T with him. No, no, mm -hmm. know something else too that he did with that nanny. That whole that whole concept that he had with the nanny that they call it, what they was calling their mama. Mm -hmm. um, I like the the deeper focus they had put on on her, as in when the um damn I can't think of the um the black chick the black the light skinned girl name when she was talking to the one that they called the furry the of uh, the big dude when she was number talking one to him. number one yeah, number one number one yeah uh, when she was talking I think to number one Luther or something like that uh, Logan yeah Luther Luther, Luther. Luther. Yeah. Luther. Yeah, Luther. I always so, think of him like Lex Luthor. That's why. That's how I remember it. Hey, so hey, look. So when she found the tape about them, this would this would trip me out. When she found the tape and seeing that the mama killed him, and then they was going through different stuff, she discovered and realized that that they father built them. I mean, built that um built the uh the robot that was their mama. So if a father built it, that means everything that the robot do is programmed from their father. And if you notice, when the robot was talking to them and the encouraging words that they was getting, that the father he'll be working and he'll kind of stop and he'll kind of look to the side, like you know what I'm saying, that's actually coming from him. But he's channeling it through her because he got this very important mission that he's doing. Mm -hmm. That's why he's sitting back there writing and he got her to channel all, all his emotional feelings to the kids that he don't have time to do. And they realized that all the emotion that the robot was giving them was actually that was, that was him. Right. And I think that was good. I remember I, I, I thought it was a program that came from him. Yeah. I remember uh I think it was Diego that said that uh, his father told him that uh that their mom has more capabilities than just her being uh being uh being being a nanny. They said she had like defense protocols and everything, so she can do a lot more stuff. Because first I thought she was like at like when she was first introduced, you think that like you know there was something off, like she was broken or something. But there was something wrong. But then you starting to realize, like, oh, she ain't broken. She just, just there's just more to her than meets the eye. You mean that she's what an oh. artificial intelligence? That's the word oh, no. you're looking for. No, oh. it's that. No, it's not that. Because remember, like at first, it seemed like that's she what was, artificial intelligence what? is. Yeah, they but do it, more than what they are. They're they're evolving more than what the sum of their program. I yeah, mean, she has to be I artificial. Mean, intelligence. Yeah, self, like self, self conscious of herself now. Yeah, she's so yes, artificial intelligence. Yeah, That's I, know what that, I know that she's self conscious. I'm talking about like there's more to her than meets the eye, as in more than just conscious, like as in capabilities of what, Did, of what, of what he initially like built her for. I don't think they really put it out all, all out there yet. So so so, so did you see did you see the part where um like it was a day of and it was a day that was supposed to be like everything had rewind and changed. Hold on, what now? What did happen? Oh, you talking like, about when uh five? You talking about when five had uh had uh left the uh what's the name right? And it went back to that day when they were having that meeting. Yeah, and then uh, number one and the the black girls like they had hooked up, they kissed, they danced, and then yeah. all rewind. Like yeah, like yeah. and uh, the mom was was supposed to tell Diego the truth, but because it rewind, mm -hmm. she never got a chance to. But it just happened in like a different way. Oh, I know what you're talking about. No, yeah. no, like, oh. No, are uh, you talking about when uh, uh uh when he what he did was he went back to the um the uh the time zone then he see they were showing you what he did like when like when that all had something to do like also with Mary J. Blige and them was trying to kill each other yeah all that had happened he already they, they were just showing you what he did before that and that's when it all led up to what it was and it seemed like it seemed like he would wind time but he didn't he already mm. knew what was going on because he was already traveling back and forth. He already knew what was going. He was already knew what was going on, so he set it up. He set it up so that when they when they did that wind it back or whatever, they showing you from a different perspective and point of view what was going on. Mm -hmm. That's what they were showing you. They were showing you from different points of view of what was going on. And that's why they were showing you like like why Mary J. Blige and, and the boys start coming at each other because he set all that up. All that stuff. All that stuff he already did. They were just showing you like what he, how he did it and what was happening. 
Like, like you know how, like you know how, like you seen it from a different point of view or whatever. What was going on when he was there, and it was showing you what he did when he was there. That was just some of the stuff that he did before he left, before he left out of there and stuff. Like instead of you just going straight ahead with the on um, with the show, and you're like, yeah. well, damn, well, how did that happen? They were showing yeah. you how he what he did. They were yeah. showing you now, what he had did and shit. But you see, he's talking about he's talking about uh, like before that, before it went back in time. There was like uh uh yeah like when he was chasing episode, the girl we're, we're time rewind. Yeah, he's talking about like when the girl hooked up, when Diego like met his mom and stuff, and then time went back. When time went back after that, there was some stuff that was similar, but a lot of stuff was changed. Like before yeah. the time jump, Diego wasn't in jail. Uh the 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 uh uh Luther and the uh other girl did uh had hooked up, but after it uh uh they didn't like change. You talking like, about? You talking about before he had? You talking about before he had that? Uh, that had the uh, that gorilla monster, that gorilla on body? No, no, no. You're talking about, no. You're talking about when he went partying and got drunk and took ecstasy. I don't know what the fuck he was taking. Yeah, but. like Luther. Oh, you talking about when he was? But oh, when he was bugging out? Yeah, yeah. But that was yeah. That was after uh, he went. Uh, the old dude went back to uh, went back in time uh, again. Cause I, uh, when he blew everything up at the uh, what's the name the the, the the time place. You know what? I got to go back and watch the movie again. I got to see what you're talking about. That point, because that I don't think. Got... Yeah, because you I don't. don't, I don't... Remember it? No, I know what I you're talking about. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think he. I, I don't think he went back in time. I think he did. That just showed a different point of view of what was going on. Because he still. No, he they, still, they, 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 they got right. rewinded. It's, it's a different point of time. Because he still. Because he's he still slept with the chick. Because well, remember his other brother, uh, the one I see the dead. He mentioned that. He said, "You know what? I like you better before you had before you had sex." And she looked at him like, "What?" So that I, had already had happened. I, I think it's I no think flip. It's, there was an episode I, I where think I there think was an episode where the, uh, time actually rewinded. With that um when five when when he went back when he went back to um working at his job and he got caught and he and he dead and he dashed back and brought everything and he changed everything in time. Yeah, but I, you know what? I thought that was just a point, a different point of view. I know what you're talking about. No, that's that not, wasn't a different point of view. That, that's that what was I'm a, saying. Like you, we, the episode we, was a, um about time travel. No, I, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. Like remember, because he took that candy. No, but and that she wasn't said, a different point of view. That was actual time travel. That was no. I thought. I thought. Oh, I thought he. I thought there was some other shit that he did that, that had already happened. No, nah, that had was actual that time up. travel. He mean um because she uh, she knew exactly where changed. he was at. He knew exactly where he was at and shit. So right. like, how you know where he that was, was at? Because he took that candy. The timeline, the time, oh, the timeline right. got changed at the end of it. Yeah, I mean, it probably, it probably did. I mean, but uh, when he when he went back, think about it too. He, uh, the whole overall change as well. When he when he was the old man, he was in the future. And he grew up to be an old person. Then he came back to the present day with his, uh, with his daddy was there. Then he um before beforehand, then he hop around too. Or they were just, or they were just showing him like just quick skip, and they, or they were just no. Showing this him. the episode I'm talking about, he was a boy the whole time. He wasn't an old man. He wasn't an old man inside the witch recall, and he went back to when he, he went he back in boy. time. He was a boy, so it wasn't beforehand. It couldn't have been beforehand. It was beforehand. Hey, hey, wasn't he before didn't, he, didn't, he was in the, inside the coffee shop, and they had the dude that was next to him, and he wanted no, some sweet ass. Uh, no, nah, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It was it it was after that. It was after that. It was when he was talking to the chick, and the and the, he was um, he was in the um, office with the chick, the chick that running everything before he blew everything before he blew that blew it up. It was that episode before he blew it up or whatever. That's how the chick was able to uh, track him. She was tracking him with the candy. He was like, "Can I have some?" She was like, "Yeah, go ahead." Oh, the candy. You know what I'm yeah, that's how she was tracking him. That's how she knew where he was at or whatever. Yeah, when yeah. he thought he had killed her, but he didn't. That's the joint when he wind back time when wind back time. That's when he sent out that letter from on um, Mary Day Blind them to kill each other. Mm -hmm. He did that. All he right. set all that up. He set all that up. <laughs> hey, so what about that? Oh, the other lady that walked in that one um, once she set up the whole when once he set up the whole fight thing and Mary J. Blige had his girlfriend 
on 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 the, on the edge of something about to turn her over. And she, when she was on um, flip after they had that amazing ass fight scene, I got geared to Mary J. Oh boy, swung a two piece. She did old Roy Jones duck to the left, then she ducked to the right, then she caught him. I was like, oh she, you know what I'm saying? She, she had me cheering on for it. Ain't on matter. She played it. She, she did oh, shit. that. Uh, I don't got no ammo. Hey, y'all when the part with his well, the part with his girlfriend was falling back, and all of a sudden time just froze. And then the other one, the um the woman from the time bureau, when she walked in, like what how, how you think she did that? Like you think she got like time powers too as well? That's why no, she, she had the suitcase. It was the suitcase. Yeah, the suitcase. Yeah, suitcase. The suitcase. That's all. Oh, that was that like, suitcase. Like, that she had in like her when hand. stopped them wait, in Arizona on that highway or whatever when the ice cream truck was coming down the road or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was Man, I gotta suitcase. say something though. I'm gonna tell y'all from from episode one and two. I already knew the girl that didn't have powers was the most was the beast. Yeah, I was like, yeah, See, I already I, knew that. I, I, yeah, that was that was some of that hot. stuff was easy to the easy to predict. Yeah. I already knew yeah. that. that, that chick yeah. had I mean, power. that part, that part, was, yeah, I kind of figured that part, but I didn't expect her to actually be the actual villain. The person no, that the, the, the calls it. Yeah, see, Savage said it said it perfectly. He like, man, I done watched too many of these shows here not to know that the one with the less power is gonna be the one end up with the most powers. Yeah, exactly. Man, when all uh, yeah, said that, I was like, you know what, you motherfucking right. But that you know, you kind of had that feeling. But what caught me off guard was her boyfriend was actually oh, there was the little boy that they teased. Man, I mean, they 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 did something. I mean, I that was, was a good job. That was like, a good job. Hey, yeah, like he came across the thing and it was you know he was letting them know that he was a big fan because you know he had shared the same birthday with him and they really played him like an ass. So do y'all think that he was justified? For trying to like you know what I'm saying want to seek revenge on somebody if they I did that no nah, hold on hold on so hold on check this is the thing you know no nah, it's not even a fact that they wasn't teasing him it was the fact that he was abused that's what made him do that he was yeah. abused by his father yeah. that's what the whole situation was about that boy he was being abused and stuff like that by his dad and he wanted to he was trying to use that as, as a scapegoat it's an outlet. remember he killed his he killed his dad yeah he did he boy killed his father he did 12 years his right yeah, yeah, his dad killed. He killed his dad because his dad was beating on him. That's what made the boy do that. You know what I'm saying? That outlet seeing him superhero, he wanted to be like them because he was getting beat up. That was like he said. That was like an outlet. That dude was whooping his. The dude was whooping that boy ass. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, oh man, that's not because when I when I seen that, I said, you know what? Yeah, that's the boy. I said that's the old. I said yo, that's the boy in the future, and that's the dude in the future that old old old, old girl sitting up there talking to. Cause he, he slit his throat like it was nothing. Man, since we talking about slit throats, wow. man, man, you I remember uh, the black girl that got her throat slit? Man, when I seen that, bro, I fell to my fucking knees. I'm sorry, I'm cussing. Man, I fell for to my knees. Y'all remember that? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know why? Because she's the only one that really could have stopped her. Her just right. doing that uh, word is a stopper and, and erase her memory. Ass. Man, no, it was see the girl. Exactly. The girl, she did, She was. She had a whole bunch of conflict going on because now she started to remember she had powers. She remembered that her sister would tricked her, and the sister. I mean, she didn't. She don't realize that her sister was so young that she didn't know no better. And by trying to tell her she didn't know no better, she was like, "You should have. I know that you knew better." And like she was saying so much stuff, and then she just, she just lost it because of old boy was telling, giving out, putting all this stuff in her ear. She learning who he really was, and. She wanted, you know what I'm saying? She's being, she being conflicted. So when she when she seen the sister about to do it again, that's when she said, Shoo. I'm about to say, oh, off with her head. My jaw but, dropped. I ain't gonna lie. But, 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 but I'm saying, but I'm saying, you, you, it, it, you I mean, you should have known that when the dad had came up with the Android nanny. She was killing them nanny. She, yeah. she was going to them people. She was killing them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Killing them she, left and right. she, she suppressed it. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah, like they they made that girl on oh, suppress her power. He knew that she was dangerous. Like she was killing them nannies left and right. Like what the? Like no, I don't want this. She she what, what is that she got? Some type of psychic EST, some crazy psychic. No, nah, she, uh, she, uh, like she manipulates. Uh, like, she manipulates sound or something. It can direct it into energy or something like that. Right, well, something she, like that. She's she doing like a tiny wave. Going, a tiny I, I, she I think that's why that violin and stuff is kind of like important. Like she, she used that violin to like uh, 
to to it was like, a way to channel her. It was a she, rod. Yeah. She it sort of like the, the Phoenix. Like, like throwing his hammer. Like throwing She's his right. hammer. That, yeah, that, yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, exactly. She was kind of remind me of Jean Grey because that was crazy what she was doing. I'm like, oh, this bra, she was unstable. <coughs> and he knew it. She was unstable not, as not, a child. Not, but can't blame her for being unstable not, though for all the stuff that she had that happened to her. Now I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say like whenever she was playing the when she was playing, the, um, she was playing, the, she was playing was the, the, the violin at the end and I her sister be, came I ain't to see her. Like that. Be going she crazy. smiled. Uh-huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, not to control. What do, you, what do you mean, like all the stuff that happened to her? He he knew that she was unstable when she was little. He when he was, did you see? I don't think you see that. Yeah, episode. but no, I, but you here's seen the that episode though. when he was te- when he was testing her powers out. Mm-hmm. And he right, knew right, right then and there. All right, all right, though, flip. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's that if you if all right, and so if uh, if you know that a, a dude you know was unstable, you're going to you're going to treat you're going to treat him. More, more shitty to to make him more than more unstable than what he already is. That's basically what the father was. He wasn't really even helping her. I mean, but you know, he an asshole. Was His personality was terrible. Oh, you talking mean, about the dude? No, I wasn't talking about the dude. I'm just talking, no, I'm talking about her father. I'm saying I'm about her she was unstable, he, he, but her father wasn't helping her. Wasn't really helping her. Uh, yeah, yes, get he was. Better. He was making her. He was, he was kind of making he was her scared. Work. No, no, he was trying to help out. That's what I'm saying. When he did you see that? Did you see when he was on um, bringing all the nannies and stuff? He was trying to train her how to use her power. That's why he had got her memory erased because he knew that she was already unstable. That's hey, what I'm hey, saying. She, she was, was killing them nannies hey, left and right villain. for no reason. Hey, say it like it is. She was a villain from the start. She was not mm. going to be on the good side. They might at the end. We're no. going to get to that. She's not a villain, though. I got she's it. not a villain. Yes, she is, man. Look, when she, she had she, 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 I don't think she was a villain. I don't think, I think she was forced. Anymore, I, I think, think the, she was forced into that. No, man. Think about it. when she was a child. They showed as a child, right? And the nanny. When she was a child. Power. She was just willingly uh, killing uh, people. Uh, yeah, she just. Yeah, she just. She didn't give a fuck. She didn't give a fuck. Uh, uh, a fuck. Was, and if, if if a person just killing people like that, that's no bad bad that he was trying to show her how to contain her power, and she didn't. She was just killing them. Yeah, but that's that's right. Like it was a nothing. Yeah. yeah. You said it right. She was a villain. Do so, you like like well her it ain't like it was like she was treated bad by her biological mother. <coughs> she, she never knew her mother. Her mother <coughs> died. Her mother died. So her mother, like, yo, can you give her my violin? That's what I'm saying. Like, fed you, you gotta watch that joint again and look at some of the stuff that was going on. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I can say she yeah, I definitely can say she's a villain because she ain't giving she didn't care about killing them people. She right. just killed them nanny left and right. That's what made them make the robot. And when she killed Nick, her bro, brother, it was like don't like, I mean she ain't she ain't trying to stop her or push her back. She went straight for a kill shot. Yeah, uh, snap of a finger. She wasn't thinking. She just went, and that's why I want to. I want to ask y'all a question. I want to ask y'all. A question. <coughs> so it was two times where that 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 black girl with the the rumor, you know, whatever power she have, she could have stopped her twice in the theater. What I'm thinking about, and like when she seen her sister, she smiled. It could have been over with, but the big dude had to go tackle her. Yeah, he the one that messed it up. I'm gonna just so, say he messed y'all that up. Think, y'all think the girl could have like the the girl went from not having powers and being left out to having the the superpower to kill everybody. Well, and, she, always, she always had it. He just suppressed it. He made her forget. Yeah. He blocked it out. Him and pills, then he afterwards. And then yeah. afterwards, she was just kind of thrown in the <laughs> bed and made her all more fucked up than what she already was. After exactly. The fact. Exactly. I mean, mm-hmm. but you know, like, she like a savage beast. You know, she was, her sister was trying to calm her down until she could better get to her so she could silence her. That's what she was like, trying oh. to do. So she was catching off guard because yeah, even though she she a villain, but even villains got people they love. Look at King Kingpin. Well, I mean, we can go through the list of villains that have people they love, but they still a villain. So she might have tried to uh because be talked down and her brother did the stupidest thing in the world, try to stop this most powerful motherfucker that you ever existed. So that didn't make no sense. You had to talk reasoning to this. You can't beat them with brute force. So mm-hmm. she was well, a villain from that point. The reason why her um the daddy suppressed the powers, the um five didn't know that that's who actually was gonna, gonna destroy the world. So he was looking for the boyfriend, and actually the boyfriend with the eye with the eye. He, if you actually right. look at it, 
The only thing he wanted to do was help her out because he felt connected more, even more to her because after the fact when he was known as a regular Joe, he um got oh, 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 Chuck, oh, he seen hold her on, Chuck. getting abused. Chuck, Chuck. No, no. Oh, hold on, Chuck. Chuck will help her out? No. Man, when look, she cried, look, when she, look, when she, look, when no, she, when she was crying him. about killing her he sister, he feel, said, he it's feel, all you know, right. He said, it's all right. Don't worry about it. You had to. I ain't saying he was good. I just said that he had up like he was help actually helping her out. He was he got the same scenario. He felt he like wanted pay, he wanted to pay back. No, nah, that was payback, dog. Yeah, Man, that, that dude, he, I, yeah, that he, dude, he, he messed real. up. He messed up. He no, messed he up. The thing for real. I no, I believe did. it. He probably did like her though after he was using her because he going to tell her it's all right. You had to do it, and he was smiling. Yeah, he smiled when he killed me. I'm like, hold on, like what? Like wait, what? so. So so Vanya ended up killing her sister, so the black girl ends up dying. No, no, no. She, no, she, she tried to kill her. Oh, can, can, I, can I say something real quick? Yeah, if she would have died, I would have never watched the show again ever in life. Yeah, because uh, I, I heard in the comments that she just silenced her her uh, her vocal yeah. cords. So I would have never watched the show again. Yeah, that's what she did. That's exactly it what she did on the show. Is. How come I can't find this thing? Yeah, so... The thing about it is, then after she did that, she was trying to kill everybody at the theater, when at the movie theater, and with with her chest, with the way she put on me not the chest, the violin, and then how she built up all that um that power. She was just steady starting, and you could see like the glow around her, like she was about to go super saiyan. I mean, <laughs> still in status. I don't care. Nobody say she was the big I bad. Man, if they make a, if they if, if they make a if they make a season two or whatever, obvious in the comic book, I don't think she's gonna be the bad guy. I don't. No, but she's not. She's not. She's trying to actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think in the comic book, she's actually trying to. Uh, she's trying to redeem herself, from what I heard. That's what she was trying to do when she went to the house and was trying to apologize when mm -hmm. her big brother uh, smothered her when he was hugging her. Yeah, but yeah, she, she's. I mean, think about uh, it. She might be wanting to apologize, but she like she don't know. Like all she got to do is lose it one time, one time, and she could snap like the head. Like the Hulk. Right. So you gotta think about who you calling the uh, the hero and who you calling the villain. Yeah, but uh, I that I also read that has uh, ma a major difference because I was looking up differences between a comic book and a TV show. Is that uh, the difference with the uh, in the comic book how it ended is that uh, I forgot who, but they shot uh, Vanya in the head and she was brain damaged, and then like uh, and then if they went with that, then season two she would be kind of you know regaining like you know. You know, okay, all, all, all her shit, yeah. So, yeah, all stuff. but yeah, so so now it's kind of really starting to spread out from the comic book. So, I mean, but you never know because at the end with the all uh, the heart blast. So, um, so before we go get get into the other topics, I want to ask y'all one more thing about Umbrella Academy. Uh, what y'all thought about five? The um, the one that the one that got the powers almost like Nightcrawler, but then he very, go past very, the future. Very interesting. Very interesting. He's one of my favorites. He probably is. I, my I favorite. like. I like the fact. Volume. I like the fact that he have an old soul, but he, in a young body. That's what I like. He is old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. He is. I think he said fifty-eight. He in his sixties. Yeah, he he's fifty-eight. He's fifty-eight. You sure? That's what he said. No, 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 I no, no. He, no. he got to be in his sixties. He spent 50, 50 years in dead. Time frame, but he was already like young. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. okay. He might have been man. like fifty-eight years. I think he yeah. said fifty-five or fifty-eight. One of them. He already, yeah, yeah. you sure? Because he was older. Yeah. He was older than that when they showed him, and as he got older, whatever, he was an old dude, and he was killing people. That man he looked was, like he was in his sixties and still doing that stuff. That's crazy. He was still. But when it, still but it just, but when it, when he took them back, when he took them back in time, I think that's it, right? When he took them back in time, they all took that. They all got younger again. Even the dude that was a ghost, so he might be alive. The brother that was a ghost, because he he taking them, he taking them back in time at the last season. You ain't oh, seen yeah, the whole yeah, thing. Well, he took yeah, back in time. Yeah, to yeah, he took them back in time, and they got younger. Yeah. Oh, I, I could understand. I could understand. Look, I think that the next season you could focus on the the yeah. father of all those. You could you could focus on the father, and you could play that picture out however you want to. My thing is, how you get to season three? Man, we you you going way too far. Yeah, you going way past. Yeah, I don't know. I heard that. 
We we I we, understand we, that. We, and like, the like, first folk in the interview, first folks. One of the dudes in the interview said they left the season ending like that because like they wanted people to really be in tune for three for season two when it comes out. I'm gonna tell you because I heard that was a big cliffhanger at the end. I'm gonna tell you whenever I see like, did you see uh, she shot the um, the ray at the moon and the moon had shattered? Yeah. Everybody with with with, with common sense know that. The Earth cannot uh, survive without the moon. So, uh -huh. like, whenever she, hit, whenever she hit the moon, I was like, "Oh, this is over with." Like, something had to happen, and sure enough, something something happened. Yeah, yeah, and they that was fucked up though. So actually, they all was villains because they left all of us here to die. Why they go on? Um, Why they avoid the apocalypse? Exactly. They caused exactly. it and avoid it. I, uh, exactly. So, so what y'all rate this show here on 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 the on the on the TV verse? You know, got the Flash, you got your uh, you know, your CW shows, you got your Netflix shows. Do you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. All of the, the those shows. You got your Hulu shows, the ABC shows. So, like, what do y'all think that Umbrella Company fit into y'all um top five? Y'all think it's in the top five, or y'all think it's on the outside, or it's in y'all top ten? Oh. What 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 y'all what y'all put it in? In the I'll top. I will put it in my my top ten. In the top. We gotta, I, I gotta see more before I jump the gun. I mean, from what I'm seeing, it's good now, but I gotta see more. I gotta see what's with season. We all been disappointed before talking about, oh, yeah, that season of uh, uh, Iron Fist and that such and such season was good, but then when you see the second one, huh? I like the second one better than the first one, honestly. No, no, I'm just saying, I'm just oh, saying, I'm just saying, like, yo, when you're sitting there, you looking at that. You know what I'm saying so to me it, it it it's still it's still on the borderland like uh uh I gotta see season um I gotta see season two what they come up with so pretty much you got it it's still it's yeah. still on the um it's still on the hot play right now because yeah you, they you to have somewhere you have a good first season then they go to shit from them basically right yeah right like right they're still good like I can still walk I can still want to watch it again that's I'll tell you that the first season I still I can still go back and look at it again. Right. I mean, I feel the same way. And I don't feel I don't feel that way about too many shows because on this, it's feel like I missed something. Something was done. Extra shit. It's like it, it, I feel like it's full of so many Easter eggs that I miss that I, that I got to go back and see. Mm -hmm. So what about you, Judah? Where you put it at? Man, I'm look when I when I first watched the show, I went into it like, man, I'm just going to watch the show, man, whatever, whatever. But I was surprised of how much depth they had you know what i'm saying like it was it was deep you know what i'm saying oh, storytelling so, like, or special effects as for special effects no um, okay, so they go deep in the special effects of the uh, storytelling they did like i mean even if you think about the monkey that they had um in the house like that was good special effects man they all playing at an apes level to me mm -hmm. yeah to, to mm -hmm. me to me it was you would think and, that, um, you would think that they actually put a chimpanzee on a suit and made him talk. Yeah, right. I, I think it was an awesome uh, show. My thing is high quality production. My my, my thing is um, what you gonna do next? I think that the season two is gonna define where they going with this because, like I said, you say I was jumping, I was jumping the gun, but like. My thing is, how can you get to season three? Because I know you get to season two. Because season two, you could just explain about the dad that had the bad attitude and how he found out. You you could easily come with uh, episodes with that. But how can you get to season three? Yeah, and uh, and how you get to season three is but you, the stuff that they put into season two, like how they leave you on a cliffhanger. So they got to come with a cliffhanger for like how you said it could be they go back to the dad, right? Now mm -hmm. imagine it's not it's not gonna be based on the dad, it's gonna be based on the kids trying to uh trying to alter stuff while they was kids and then explain, you know what I'm saying? They try to explain how they doing stuff now and they're gonna take the toad into the world apocalypse from then and they're gonna have a whole different effect that's going out, you know, like how the flash on uh, how the on the flash, they always yeah. say you change history, yeah. stuff always take its place, like so something else even more. You know what I'm saying? That some some more could come back and take his place. So it could be a whole different route right now. You, hey, uh, yeah, you never know. I would say. Hey, you I know what say, I was thinking about about this show? What? Yeah. What if their old man really is close? 
You say it really is clout. Oh. Hmm. Oh. That'd be some crazy stuff. Oh. Why, 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 uh, why you think uh, that dude is Klaus? I, I want to hear this theory. The way he act, oh. the way that both of them act, they don't act like too far off from each other as far as their you attitude. Right. And then the fact of if they just took all of them back to the past, that means that's a chance that when he told them, you don't even know the beginning of your power. This goes back. This goes back to what I said that 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 dude is some some kind of way a part of the time. We we'll start something else. Uh, oh. People, the time. I think they they the no, time. No, not, not not really oh, the time. Been, people. I really no, think I mean, it's like, one of them. One of one of one of the seven. Exactly. But he's I mean, one of the people. Part, but he was exactly. part of the time people that that actually what? killed people. Well, 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 yeah, he was. But I'm just saying, though, well, look at the boy's powers. The boy can travel back and forth. No, you have a himself. point. You have a valid no, point. No, not okay, him. I'm not that. talking about, about five. Klaus. I'm talking, talking about, about Klaus. About the the one that can see the dead people. The, the, yeah. the, 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 the oh, the oh, oh, the happy boy. He wears the same beard like that, too. If you think about it, since he said that, like, he got the same facial structure and everything. So that that is a good concept, but that's probably why... The only way and the fact of, of did you read the comics, Klaus, bro? I didn't. No. Go ahead. What you mean, saying, I'm Savage. going on straight my that? own theory. I don't. I never read the comic. Go ahead. That's a good. Go ahead. That's a good. One. So I'm you just think saying, he wanted to? You, so play, 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 play. Play. The reason why I'm saying that is because it is. If Klaus got the power to conjure the dead. That means nine times out of ten, if, if he reaches full potential of powers, he won't be able to die. Exactly. So that old man, if that's Klaus, he could fake, he could be in a fake this death the whole time. Oh. And bring and bring himself back. Right. But wait a minute, that means he would be at two places at once, then, right? You talking about you think the old, you think they pop, you think coming this pop is one of the same? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but 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 then how would I explain the way he was treating him when he was younger? That's the whole I mean, point. Hey, look, check this out. Point. If you know that, that, that old man Martin, know the man. whole timeline, he the the main way he cannot break the time. The main thing he cannot do is tell himself who the fuck he is. Right, so that's you know, crazy. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Cause that's just, like that's Martin, theory. Bro. And if y'all know the so Martin, that means he, he, could, he could come, he can raise them from babies. Okay, okay. Well, well, can I say this then? If I if I could jump in, if you watch the first couple of episodes when he was gathering the kids, he wasn't just randomly like going to get kids. He was like that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, I'm good. And he yeah. stopped at a certain number. He didn't keep going. But then you know what that means? The, the, the exactly, then exactly when was that old man born then? Exactly when was he born? Like, like Sam said, he could have been one of the kids that were born. I'm wondering how he gets I wonder how he gets that money. If if it is Klaus, then I wonder how uh, how how he got rich. If he got something like that, you know, he was always because you know the Klaus we know was always that would mean it's a time paradox. That would mean that's a paradox that's going on right now, then. That right, that's like what I'm trying to tell y'all. It's the Rick and Marty theory. See, the a whole paradox. thing. Look, the Rick and Marty theory is when Isn't that what's been going every on? Rick need a Marty. Yeah, and, and the Rick and Marty. That's it's okay. Every Rick need a Marty. That means um Rick went back in time and then you know what I'm saying he, and that's when himself was a child. And he rate and he pretty much would raise himself and telling himself that he was his uncle. And he treated him like shit. Just because he know that's his self and he know what his self could take. And he put himself through all these different things. And that's why in every universe, every Rick, there's a Marty. I mean, that's a theory that they got, though. But that's that's, that's a Rick and Marty theory. Like, it's, um, he come back to raise himself, basically. Uh, a pre, a pre, predestined time paradox. A right, predestined right. paradox. I, I know it. what you're saying. I heard of, like, a predestined paradox. He was right, destined to right. go back in time yeah. to do that and stuff like that. I mean, mm, that's that's... Hey. Hey, now, hey, speaking about a pre you know that's a good one. Hey, speaking that's about a, a paradox, one. a paradox, man. What y'all, uh, oh, hey, what y'all think about Black Widow 
not being rated R. They're making it a PG-13 movie. I mean, which is kind of common knowledge because it's Disney, and, you know, Disney got it got to fit into the rest of their movies. They don't want to have this one in particular movie to stand out to be a rated R movie. So uh, even though I, my wishes would be that that's what it would be. But um, my question is, what do y'all think about what this take away from the movie? Do y'all think that um, it won't matter if they could come out with a Black Widow movie that's PG-13 and it still be just as good as it could have been if it was rated R? Um, I'll say my opinion last. So no, um, y'all don't think that the Black Widow movie should be? I mean, like you think that it'll, it'll take away from the movie, or you think that they can actually pull it off? I mean, if you want me to speak first, uh, Judah, um, I've come accustomed to seeing. Marvel and DC go to Netflix and make like um, um, TV shows that's kind of graphic or whatever, like you know, like real hardcore, right? Mm -hmm. So like in 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 this movie setting that you talking about, I would appreciate that, but it's like as far as the uh, the big screen goes, even Shazam that's finna come out. It's kind of comedy. Like, even Deadpool. Deadpool is a killer. Like, and it's comedy. So, I don't really like it. I don't really like the the path they're going. Like, I, I, like, I like the dark path. I mean, but the thing about it is, we're talking about Disney. Dis by Disney owning, um, out getting all their Marvel properties back. Like, with they, um, from what I'm hearing about with Deadpool 3, or if they come out with the X-Force, what they gonna do to keep that rate to keep it rated R? They're not gonna put the castle on them. They're gonna still have it like under Fox because they they own Fox and they're gonna be like the Fox brand of movies that they still gonna dump out and it's gonna be that Deadpool, right? So once they right. put it, you know what I'm saying? Once they, you know that way they don't have to do the logo. But with Black Widow, by her being completely inside the MCU with all the Avengers and stuff, they don't want to separate her movie to be different, a different tone than the rest of the movies that's followed in the line. Under this hill. Now, Deadpool, if he cross over in the MCU, no matter which one, they're going to tone him down to be the fit inside of a PG 13. But as long as he's doing his own thing and his own type of movies, they're going to be in the box. Who, who running Deadpool right now? From, uh, from what I'm saying, it's supposed to be still got the same production. No, I'm saying, like, 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 who, who uh, does Fox own it or? Oh, it's, it's Marvel. They just cool. waiting for the ink to, it's been signed. They just waiting for it to drag. But they already this pretty much said like on the next Deadpool movie that they not you know what I'm saying gonna PG thirteen it. They gonna but they gonna put the more I mean they gonna put the uh the Disney Castle logo on Deadpool because you know that well, Castle is everything to them and they're not gonna put it on nothing like that. All I'm saying is like when you when you talk about the Punisher, Daredevil, Luke Cage, uh, <laughs> Titan, none of them have. None of them have the Disney logo on them. I know, I feel you. But like, like if I think, I think they trying to venture off to that. Like they they using Netflix as a platform to like kind of test the waters or whatever. But I think, I think a lot of people like that. A lot of people want to see like aggressiveness, like because us as older people know the history and people that's younger like the action so like it's a win-win situation and i i think they playing with it and I mean, uh you so you think that disney plan or i mean on the netflix i can see but you think they gonna take that jump and go to the big so. screen and give us like a a no. logan movie where it go no. a hard rated r you think they nope. gonna do that jump nope nah nope. and i don't like, like it that. i don't like it nope Not i don't like, like that it. I mean, it, it, the, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you mean, like a full fledged movie or on a TV network? A full fledged oh, movie. Like like I don't know if Disney would do that. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not saying that they won't, but there's way Disney can get around, get around with doing certain things in movies and stuff. Had like they did with Pirates of the Caribbean. People don't know that Johnny Depp running around talking about the chicks and uh, looking at these half, then they half naked women and stuff on there. And that's by Disney, so they 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 make sugar coated because it's come on. Let's be honest, there's a lot of cartoons, the Disney animation show that talks about that 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 talk uh, talk adult uh, adult content, 
but people don't under but us as an adult will understand it, but the children won't understand it. So why should it you be any right. different if they do a movie like that? I can see them doing it in a, a, a certain way or whatever, but it all depends on what is bringing more money towards that way. You want to go with the hardcore or the casual? See, this is something that I keep trying to tell, tell Bone and them and stuff like that, and and, and you know, and, and the boy that just left like. Just because it's Disney don't mean that they can't do that. You have to realize they gotta cater to the to, to the cattle. They the one that make the most money. Disney not hurting for money. And people keep thinking that. Should they put it on on, on Netflix? We already know Disney doing their own streaming service. That's not gonna happen. So that's why they're taking them shows off. I, I can see Disney doing it. Disney got different networks. So okay, what's the network called? The the free, the freedom network. Who, how many people in here knew that was by Disney? Right, because they don't put their logo on stuff like that. They they don't put their castle. I didn't know, but I know that I know that logo though. Right, right. You see, they don't that's what they don't do. If it, if it's anything too extreme, they're not gonna put that logo on there. Right. So I mean it, it all depends on what Disney is willing to do. I mean, are they willing or, or I mean, do I think that they're gonna test that out? Which one would you gamble on? Let's look at it like this. Which one would you give rather gamble on? Would you gamble on making a hardcore movie and stuff like that, or network with hardcore movies or something like that, or whatever, push out for the hardcore fan, or do you want to make more money with the casual? Which one would you pick when it comes down to money? I mean, yeah, right. When it comes to the corporate, corporate gonna go with the money all day long. So that's that's why you know what I'm saying when they said Black Widow was gonna be PG thirteen, I was like, well, I figured that. But I still don't see how they um if they go if it still what, what, could it be a good well, movie? That's my biggest concern. Like, could they still come out with a? Let, 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 let me ask you this: Do do uh why do Black Widow have to be a rated R movie? John Wick, I want to see it just like that. My vision, I want to see Black Widow just like John Wick. She running around. It could be something simple. It could be, I want her movie to be like uh her goldfish died because the water company didn't do something and she go around through a whole water company building and just shooting everybody in the head. You're retarded. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave him the fuck alone. I ain't even going to say nothing. No. How you doing, Savage? What you, how Man. you doing today, uh, bro? Can, can I ask you... Hey, this this is a side I question. I back out real quick because I can't focus and do this at the same time. This, I ain't this is a side question. <laughs> do do y'all know how the, the real uh, comic book Infinity Wars... Um, took place. Yeah, you do realize that was X Men and mm -hmm. yeah, everybody. No, we know. Yeah, we talked about it. A few oh, okay, okay. We, we, I'm, I'm new to this. This is my first time. Yeah, you, 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 you gonna, you gonna, you gonna get your feet wet. You gonna, you gonna see. Uh, but uh, so Savage, so like, hey Savage, before before we go to put this, I want, I gotta hear Savage's opinion. Do you think that Black Widow? Movie going to uh, still could be a good movie without being rated R. Uh, yeah. I mean, just what kind of storyline you think they go? I mean, without the killing, because what what can she do? Just regular spy stuff like a you do understand PG thirteen ain't the same as PG thirteen as when we was kids, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I said was saying earlier. Like, I mean. Yeah, you're right. What do you right. consider R? What, what do you consider R rated? That's what I was trying to figure out. Like, What's what do you R? consider R rated? Everybody curse. What's R rated. Yeah, R rated. I mean, cursing, I'm, I'm cursing and killing is you know what I'm saying. That's PG thirteen. Yeah. yeah, right. Like like bitch, bitch is a universal word. They can use that on TV like crazy. Um um, as I was growing up or whatever, you know. You you know like and, and you know from the seventies up in the nineties and stuff like that, watching those type of movies with people who being gay and all that other stuff wasn't acceptable. That, you see that you see that on TV every day. So so that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like like you know what are rated now? If you if you ever watch Blackish or Grownish, you know that you can say anything you want to say, as long yep. as you use it in a certain content. Yep. Oh, yeah, right, right. It's the way they use it. The way you use it. The way you use so, it to bring out everything. So, so yeah, the, 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 the same, you can hold it back. I'm, I'm still. Hoping. So, what y'all think more, uh, more uh, anticipated? Like people would like to go see Cap, Captain Marvel or Black Widow. Captain Marvel. You think Captain think Marvel Captain will be Marvel, 
I think I, uh, so. Captain, uh, no, no, no. I think they will see Black Widow because they know Black Widow from the Avengers movie. I'm just saying for the casual. Captain Marvel, that shit got, got too much hype behind it. People got to go see that. That that, so. that, that, that shit looks like there's no stopping that. There's no stopping that one. Yeah, so um, that was my point. That's my point. Hey, but uh, so I was looking on Rotten Tomatoes and Captain Marvel. It was like at a right sitting at like a 40 46 percent, like just for people like on the on on the on the scale that they have. Like they say on the it's called the watch on uh, wait on uh, want to see list. So the, and then it went to a 46 percent, then I seen it dropping down to like a 27, then I think it was like a 24 percent. Then after after it went to down way down to a 24 percent. Now we're talking about Captain Marvel. People that want that's anticipating on seeing this movie. They said it got so low that Ryan Tomato took it out for them. And y'all were saying yeah, that more people are gonna be anticipating Captain Marvel over Black Widow. So do y'all think that this is gonna actually reflect on the movie or there's just people that's big trolls that's uh just mad about this, you know what I'm saying, but heard about the stuff that uh Cara Car Car Dembos was saying in real life about, you know what I'm saying, um I guess they call it the SWJs with all the stuff there with the she now she she not doing this for the white men and you know what I'm saying so a lot of people get mad at her and they hidden hidden saying that oh they're not gonna see it to bring down the, the oh, hype oh, whoa, 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 people whoa. still they're gonna go out and drop yeah. that, that she said that yeah she said that, she said that. like the movie like she um but like you know how people take it out of contents first she of all like, want to be diversified between not just straight for um the white men. That's what her, her, her thing. Oh, now, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I said, yeah. oh, Captain Marvel must think white men is the scroll. You know what I'm saying? That was a joke I had put out there. But um, uh, yeah, so that so people that uh, you know they got it on if you look on Rotten Tomatoes, it's not on there at all. Where you can see oh. like anticipation for this here because people are down there so much on there because of the, the back and forth with the trolling. Do y'all think it's gonna hurt the movie with the trolls? Nope. You think it's uh, I, I, I'm I'm gonna just you know what nope. I'm gonna just go with my gut. Nah, I don't think that's gonna affect them. I, I that's just I could be wrong, but I don't think so, man. Nope. I don't think so, man. I think Captain Marvel gonna come out and just gonna do fine. I know what you're talking about now. I, I it's gonna do fine. I mean, you always got trolls somewhere, man. I mean, who, who, who like like who are the ones that doing all the trolling and stuff? People, I think people are too. See, this is the thing that I, I said before. Let's keep the 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 people with the letters, the F J, the C T S, and all them people with them letters. Why they what they need to do is sit their asses down, shut the fuck up, and let Disney make a movie and have a good movie. Why do you need? See, see, this is what I don't get though, man. Why do you need movie star? Uh, 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 sports player, all these people to be your, 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 uh, 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 your toaster boy, whatever you want to call it, the, for your leader. Like, why? Why can't they just make a movie and a movie be good? Like, stop it. Like, like years ago, like 30, 40 years ago, you, you, you ain't even heard of nothing like this that a female character is leading in the movie and, and, and making noise like this. You ain't hear stuff like this. Stuff like this, they went against when they had this in the comic book. So now that you make movies and stuff, you want to dictate how this movie should be or who the movie should be for whatever or what the movie... Like, stop it. Come on, man. Stop it. It's not selling sex or none of that. All it is is a female uh, uh, comic book character that have power and they just trying to get people... Who who are who are fans of these comic books and people who know nothing of a, a good quality movie and now you want to take it and turn it to something vicious like 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 you demonizing everything. I, I don't understand why they're doing that. Like, come on, uh, stop this. Why can't we just be happy with our movies? I I appreciate your outlook, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, that that is that is actually on some on some deep stuff. Cause I I, I mean. Yeah. Like I felt it was Sabbath said last week. I'm still going to see it. I'm going to see it probably that, that weekend when it come out. I'm going, I'm gonna be out there. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope that the movie does well. But they some people are saying it's projected to do uh um a hundred million. It's supposed to actually outdo Wonder Woman and Aquaman. So you might got a lot of DC fans. That's kind of mad about the situation as well. So they're trying to find anything. Man, they better get out their feeling. They better get out their feeling. I ain't trying to hear that. 
Now DC fans, you get mad because Marvel made a good movie. A Marvel fan get mad because DC. Come on, man, cut it. That I mean, you see people like that make us look bad, and I don't think people understand that. Like you make it's this comic book, dog. Be appreciate that they making these type of movies that you want to see. One side, like, I, side. I, 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 yeah, it's weird. And, and the funny thing about it, do you think uh uh uh? But these comic book creators give a fuck. They, they probably sitting back in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, somewhere in a club smoking cigar, eating some goddamn Cheetos or something like that, letting the money roll in. And why you why you being mad in the face? Why you mad in the face for no reason? I don't I don't understand that, man. Man, man, uh, I just told I, I'm I'm going off record, <laughs> but uh, I just told a girl the other day. Uh, I was telling her about anime, and she was like, I, I ain't into anime. I told her about Dragon Ball. I was like, man, you do know that come from, like, you know, across seas or whatever. They start off like an anime, you know, like a manga or whatever. She was like, I thought that was just a cartoon. I was like, yeah, that's how that's how the shit happened. Like, it's animation. Like, it's animation. Even, that's all it is. It, animation. I mean, even, the com even the comics. The Batman, that. the Superman, the, the Joker, whoever you want to name. It came from a comic, and then it became a TV show and a movie. Like it all came from like a a paper book item. So, like, I don't I don't understand like where, where people come from with that. But I do have a question. Yeah. So, did y'all see the uh, the trailer for Lion King? I'm just asking. I'm good. Man, I'm you leave that alone. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on that job. Oh, I don't know where we're going, no, no, we going with this. I don't know where we're going with this. I don't know where we're going with this one. I, I, what, man, man, look, I'm telling because I, I was because I was I was hyped on what you were saying, like as far as the sales and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, like the trailer for uh, Lion King. You could quote me on this right now. You could just lock my words in. Lion King movie is going to be the top selling movie of 2019. I swear to God. Okay, but not, 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 not get what angle you coming from. For a minute, I thought you were about to actually say something about. I thought he was going left yeah, already. Yeah. I said, damn, it's that time already. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be the top selling. I, I swear to God, it's going to be the top selling. I don't know. I, I think Endgame going to get it. I think Endgame going to get it. Right. Okay. That movie is way more big, bigger than um, Lion King is right now. I mean, that's triple club, right? Okay. Everybody in mm. go. Man, Spider Man get evaporated. Everybody fell in love with Black Panther. He get evaporated. Okay. You think they not gonna go out and drove to go see that? I, okay. Nah, that's where my money at. My money okay. going to Endgame. All I'm gonna tell you is, I don't. I can't speak for y'all. Sure. I, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. There's a lot anybody, of anybody any, anybody that's that's in the comments like. that don't have kids would say that. But if you got kids, you can see Lion King in your future. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. yeah, that, that is that is a good point. But speaking about I don't, past, I don't even care about Lion King. I know I, I can see Lion King doing numbers. I can yeah, see I, mean, I know it's gonna do numbers, but I, I I still I'm still going with Avengers Endgame. What wait? wait. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh Triple Cup, that's you? Yeah. yeah you so, you, you want to bet? Nah, nah man, I, don't, I don't do that. I, don't, I, don't I, I, bet, I, I, bet, I bet you any movie uh, leading to Lion King. Any movie. I'm about to see, I'm about to see the whole 20, the 2019 list of what's coming out. Before I go, before I go anything with Lion King, but I still, I'm still gonna stick with that end game. I don't even know the list, and I'm still betting. Well, we gonna, we gonna see, we gonna see. They might have somebody in the chat that that'll take you up on you know that. You, you know what? I'm you not, know what? You know, see, see hold on, Triple Cup. See, this is what happened. Now that the boy had left, the only child on the podcast has left. You really can't say anything about it because he left. Maybe he would have had more insight on it than we do because you know the child left. So I don't know. You know, I, I I would probably think about it more if I heard what the boy said. But being though he left, um, I, I I'm gonna just leave it alone. Right. So hey, let's uh, speak about um the topics of Lion Kings and stuff like that in Jungle, and we are gonna um uh, flip. You had you had brought up something good to the table that had something to do with um with Jungle action. 
Mm-hmm. And the original hero for hire. Then mm-hmm. somebody was doing the writing and stuff about um about about the Luke Cage and the and the Black Panther that a mm-hmm. lot of people might not know about. Can, mm-hmm. can you give me a little detail about uh what you was what you had ran across? Oh, you talking about um Billy um 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 what's his last name Savage um Graham Graham yeah oh yeah no 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 it was uh my my um. A homie of mine had sent this to me, so you know I was sitting there looking at it. And I'm, I mean, it's not like I'm. I always say like I, I don't be surprised, but I feel like you know it's a topic to talk about because let, let's keep it real. We have black people in, in itself have made a lot of and did a lot of things to to contribute to society now and in the past thousands of years back, and it just it just shame that what I don't understand is that why is it every time like okay Stan Lee passed away or whatever. People want to bring out certain articles and stuff like that. I'm not mad, but it's just the same that they don't get they just they just deserve like they should. You might hear honorable mention like yeah, you know whatever 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 blah blah blah. He bam, that's it, and it just go under under the rug like unheard of or whatever. That you know he was actually the artist that that made Black Panther and so forth and all the other characters which you had a name or whatever. Of course, not taking nothing away from Stan Lee, still came up with the. The concept, the idea, and the writing and stuff, with a little help of Jack Kirby. But this guy was actually was the artist that 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 made these characters. Yeah, he, he was the. the suit and put, everything, right? He he put their vision of their he put the vision of the character that they want on paper, and it just sometimes it's just a shame that it go unheard of. We know Stanley is 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 the face of comic book everywhere. We would just say because people that's who everybody know. So, you know, we understand that, though, but it's just a shame that when it comes down to our people, like, as you say earlier, like with Black Panther and stuff like that, that you don't get no recognition or they don't know of this. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, that that's what made me want to talk about, like, because it's sad that, you know, a lot of people out there really don't know that. And people may say, but yeah, it's just comic book. Okay, it's a lot of stuff that's just comic book. But y- y- y'all have a fickle bit if it was over some of the characters that y'all like, uh, 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 you know. And I believe that, listen here, when any time when it comes down to... Cause it, uh, we said this before. Uh, Superman, it was rumored that, you know, Superman wasn't, wasn't by the two Jewish boys. They stole that idea, as well as Batman. So it, it, it's just funny that, you know, they have these characters and they hit and they hit them and didn't tell people. Uh, uh, what's that? I, I, as I would call it, excuse my word, hitting niggas. And that's what I call the movie, hitting niggas. It's called hitting figures, but they hid that for us for how many years? Since they got men up into space or whatever, to the moon, that these black women did this and no one knew this? So it, it's just, it's just still the same concept of that. Like it's a shame that it goes on like that. But this guy, he created these, so he created these characters that you know people just overlook. Don't give them they just do. Like okay, well he's the artist, so he don't get his just do. I mean I understand that era, but come on, it, it's now is the time to get over that and and let people get they just do or whatever, man. I mean you know it, it, it's good to me. I'm always happy when I'm finding out. Okay, well. Someone of, of color, as they will call us, uh, 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 you know, comes up with ideas and stuff like this to bring people ideas, you know, to light or whatever. And I just don't like that they don't get their credit, more credit like they should. Same thing with the lady. I think it was she did a, a, a the Matrix. No, um, I bet she did the Matrix in um, um, uh, uh, what's the other game? Well, on the other movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger that he played in, um, Terminator. She didn't get her just do like that. That she came up with them ideas. But you know, it's it, it's just good to see, and I just like for people to know, like like this guy, he drew these characters. He brought their vision to life. Mm. I mean, hey, you you pretty much you pretty much ran the whole thing and shit. I mean, I, hey, that is valid history and knowledge for information from the boy Flip. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, a lot of people didn't know. And I really and truly, I didn't know that either as well. But it's some good information to know. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's like it help you dive and get more attached to the characters and, and get a different feel for like the different angles that's, that, you know what I'm saying, that people that don't get their credit for. I mean, no one just have to be him. It's like all of them. Right. If I, if, if I could interrupt, man, I like what you just said. Yeah, yeah, he, that was, that was some good, some good knowledge. So that, that's, so y'all ready to get to this all uh, this chop shop? Oh yeah. 
dripped up and dripped out. Know what I'm talking about? Welcome to the chop shop. Chop shop. Yo, yo, what's going on, good brother? The flip money and um, how can I help you? Yeah, um, I was getting ready to go see this Captain Marvel movie, and I've been, you know, I've been knowing about Nick Fury, and he been he disappeared. So I just want to get a little back a back story about Nick Fury, who he is, and some of the questions I had and concerns, and uh, and actually wonders about this character. So um, the first thing I want to ask y'all about not on modern history was was he a uh, a super soldier of some sort? Because I know like they started him in the comic books. That he was like in the military, like in World War One, but then he kind of like did the same thing as Steve Rogers. They moved him up to present day. It's like is it some type of gap or something that I'm that I'm missing out, like when he first started. I mean, it was different versions. Nick, Nick version, Fury. Nick versions. Nick Fury is yeah. supposed to be a title, right? Not a different actual, version of him. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, so the actual the actual name Nick Fury is not the person. It's actually a title. Well, yeah. yeah, the the leader of Shield. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, when Nick Fury uh, first came out, the first Nick Fury was based in the, with the World World War One. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so that um, so what Shield was that? That's before Shield, or that's during Shield, or that's after Shield. The beginning was, of Shield. Okay, so that's when it first established Shield. No, the shield wasn't established yet. Okay, she so didn't. She didn't get established till uh, with Tony Stark father and um, what's her name, Agent Carter. Yeah, with Agent Carter. Yeah, but, um, that was, in, that was around. Huh? Wasn't Hank Pym or something as well? No. That's I team. got a question. Hmm. Did they, re did I mean, they re introduce Nick Fury for a movie purpose? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Preference or whatever? Nah. Well, when, when you're talking about what the one that you see now? Yeah. Like we just said, it was several different Nick Fury. Like 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 what he just said, it was just a title or symbol. And was he like the first Captain America? Yeah, he did have. As time went on, they did gave him power. And as, as every comic book, they give him, they take it away, they reintroduce him. And make him as something, making you know a little different, whatever. Like the same thing with his Nick Fury eye get cut and all that other stuff. Wolverine did that. Same Wolverine thing with that. the Joker. Right, and and as time goes on, you know they continue on changing the storyline. And yeah, of course they re you know reiterated him or whatever. Well, Jack with Samuel Jack when they shoot or whatever. They wanted them to make him black or whatever. It was, that just happened so that, you know, I, I think the artist uh, like the Samuel Jackson that came out and he started looking like looking like Samuel Jackson a little so, you know, when they came out with the movie, they just start making making him look more like Samuel Jackson and stuff. Samuel Jackson scene. Like even in the comic book, it made a well you know, actually knew that you know that the comic comic character looked like him a little whatever. It was a joke in the comic saying, if I ever have a movie, I would want Samuel Jackson to play me, or whatever. So you know, yeah, it it, it felt like this was a long time. They had this idea in the head for for a while before you see it on the big screen and seen it in comics today. Because there's two different one, there's two different ones that looked that that was like Samuel Jackson stuff. So one of them, I believe, Savage was the kid, right? But one of them was this. His kids or something like that. I think yeah. was, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think one of them was his, uh, was was the character in the comic book that is, which is uh, his child or something like that, picked up the mantle because he also not only that, in, in, a, in, a, in another book. comic book, the title of Nick Fury was was um a, a, um like a these kids that was trained as super soldiers, mm -hmm. and all of them was named Nick Fury, just like the Winter Soldier. Mm. Right. Because Nick Fury picked up the man of Captain America also. Yeah, one of the Nick Furies picked up the like, Captain America um, man. Of, a lot of people picked up the Captain America man, of, but my favorite one was yes, Frank Castle. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I ask y'all a question? Hey, hold on, hold on. Before, uh, beforehand, so I, I got I to gotta know about this here. So what was the difference between a white Nick Fury and a black Nick Fury? Because Ooh, you know, they both good. came out that's on the same. They both had like the same similar time. Okay, or, wait a minute. Hold on. 
Go ahead, break it down. Which, which white Nick Fury are you talking about? The actual <laughs> human or the robot? The, uh, the actual human robot and him and... Um, All right. That Nick Fury and the black Nick Fury, they were supposed to be raised as brothers in that program. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be like a shield and it's supposed to be like a top secret division of shield. Mm. The black Nick Fury run the regular division this year and the re- the white one um, run the top secret one. Okay, so yeah. so so they both they both existing at the same time. Yeah. Like I said, it's more than just them two. Yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah. It depends on like what issue you. It depends on what situation you have. That's depend on which Nick Fury they gonna they gonna have to deal with their problem. The level, you know what I'm saying? That's far as the comic books, not far as the the MCU is probably gonna be Samuel yeah. Jackson. Yeah, they're not gonna deviate from hanging and start confusing people with different exactly. Nick Fury. Exactly. Right. So, like, so if they make a Nick Fury movie, most likely. If anything, they might. I, I, they I might put show the program that he was in, and they was training Nick right. Fears, and they he might, might be the only one that graduated or some shit, or the only one right. that survived. Because because of Samuel L. Jackson, and he played in the MCU, it may just be just some that they just go with instead of confusing people. Oh, there's a white one in the black. Yeah, I also realize the casual. It's all about the casual. Like they're they write the storyline. From the movies, the in the comic books following the move now. That's so like Thanos. All Thanos already got a storyline. Come on. But man. then they rewrite it again in the movie. Come on. And at mm, you know what I'm saying? Like I done read all of them Thanos comic mm-hmm. books and Come to on. tell you the truth, Infinity War is a good ass movie. I'm gonna be honest. But it, it don't, don't have nothing on the on the comics. It don't, it don't, it don't add up. It, Long. It, Shit, no, it don't add up. I mean that that probably why they're doing it that way to give it a different different um different vibe, I guess. Right. You know, to keep you from from knowing everything. You know how they you know that's why I think they change a lot of stuff because they know you the uh people that read all the comic books and they want to have something fresh and something different. See, but but see, this is the thing that I try to tell people when it comes down to the comic book. Long as you gotta look at it like this, I don't have a problem with them because if Warner Brother and and Disney is allowing them to it's from the comics or whatever. You really can't get mad because now, now you got to look at these movies as comics. I'm saying like, okay, you see how they treat yeah, characters. Yeah, just a like, different version of it's a different it's yeah. a different universe in the in the, in um in, in 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 Marvel. It's a different yep. universe in DC. That's all it yep. is. It's yep. just yep. the movie version. So yep. people so can't we, really get mad at, oh, this is not following this storyline. It's not following right. this storyline. I'm even guilty of it. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. got pissed off. We all. We but, all. Everybody on this show have did that before. Go ahead. It's not because it, it ain't what we used to. But the people who don't read comic books, this is all new to them. They don't know shit about them storylines. No, so, they don't. I mean, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. So they have free will to do what the fuck they want. You know what I'm it, saying? No, it, it, no matter how, how bad the hardcores be like, well, they didn't do this. They didn't do that. That's what they throw in them. You know what I'm saying? They throw shit in there for us. But, but see, that, that this only is, we going to pick up on. But see, this is the funny thing about it. This is the <laughs> funny thing about it that they don't pay attention to it. The people who is changing this, making these changes... Are the people that run the combo book company, and that's the thing that people don't understand. Now, no, they're doing it. It ain't like there's somebody else that's doing movies and stuff. Say like Sony want to change this and this and this in the movie, whatever. I don't follow the combo book. No, these are the people that make the comic book. So it's like hand in hand. So, so you can't really get mad if that's what they decide to do. Can't get mad. Who own who own Marvel? Disney. Who right. on, on on DC? One of brother. So you can't get mad, right? And I and I kind of and I kind of go with the movie versus being the most canon anyway because that's where they spend the most money and make the most money. So you got to follow the money trail. I wouldn't so necessarily we go that far. Yeah, I I yeah. got a question. I got a question. Do y'all do y'all think Marvel or DC moving in the right direction? I think both of them starting. To, I think Marvel been moving in the, di- the right direction, and DC starting to oh, pick up. Big 
yeah, pick up what they what they supposed to have been done. I think that that's what DC doing. They still. But see, the problem with DC was they had the wrong people running shit, and they was trying to. Yep. They was focusing too much on Batman. Yep. Like they I doing think, now? I, I think D, I think DC is is focusing on, um, uh, like you was like like y'all was saying, um. The, the fans that's been fans for a long time and now they turning dark because those fans are grown now. And they, no, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this, this is what a lot of people don't know. And I want to say this. I want to reiterate this. Mm-hmm. DC is actually Dark Comics. That was the original name of DC, Dark Comics. The mm-hmm. shit was supposed to be dark from the beginning, but it went through a certain age of we can't do this. You know what I'm saying? Now it's to the age of now they can show us what they really was wanted to show us years ago. Right. Mm-hmm. Because of the era that it was in. Yeah, the era that it was in, the era that the DC exactly. came out, they couldn't do that. Right. I mean, and then, and then it was based upon, you know, Batman and Superman. And, you know, with Superman, his whole... His whole stigma is he can always find a different way he don't want to kill. Batman, same thing. He His principles and his code that he go by, he cannot kill. So they Man. took it and ran with it for the whole DC. Like, Man, they didn't know. That was the, the characters, concept. Characters. That was the concepts. That was the concepts that they brought in with that Batman that, um, what's his name? Uh, I can't even think of his name. That, uh, for the casuals, thought that, though. No, Batman. I'm just saying, though. What, what was the original Batman name? The TV dude, Dark with Dark Knight. Uh, uh, no, the dude on TV. Talking about Adam West, because it yeah, was a Adam lot of West. Batman. It was a lot the of the first one. Oh, no, it was it was no, it was people before. No, I'm talking about the one that everybody. The one before we were born, Batman. Batman. He talking about Adam West. That's one everybody know. It was even the other Batman before him, but he's the only one that All everybody. Right. Know. With Adam West in that show, that's when yeah, Batman got that goofy. Was I goofy? You know huh? what I'm saying? That's when Batman got goofy. No, yeah, Adam West. I'm talking about the TV show. The old TV show. Powell to my dumb. Yeah, that's what I'm mm-hmm. talking about. Way back. That's when Batman got goofy. And that's when there was Batman don't kill, Batman don't do this, and Batman do that. Read the original Batman comic books. Batman killed people. Yes, sir. Now they have now you have he weed. didn't learn restraint <laughs> until he learned he when Batman first started out, he killed people. Yes, sir. Somebody, he right, didn't learn on. restraint until after like 10, 12, 20 years on the doom being Batman. All right, oh, see, see, we're gonna run it down real fast, real quick for good brother, uh, uh for everybody else that don't know. So good brother Savage said. They was burning comic books back then in the 30s. Comic book was pubic. That's what good brother Sa- uh, uh, Savage is saying. The stuff that Batman and Superman were doing, some characters did this, some characters did that, some characters was dark. You know what I'm saying? They did dumb dumb era. They was burning comic books like back then, like in the 40s, because they didn't think comic books was good for children. Like it's a whole document, a documentary on this for those who out out there. If you want to look at it, it's, it's a documentary about this whole. It talked about DC, but it all it, it maybe like DC, but they still talk about every other comic book, too. Marvel and all that <laughs> stuff. There's a documentary out there. It's called. Uh, something of action comic book or something like that. The history of action comic book. That's the original name of, of DC. It was action, then it was board, and the name was changed, and so forth and so forth. That's what he's talking about. Like, yeah, and they was burning these comic books, so they had to tweak it up, make it more friendly. Like y'all, y'all seen the old TV shows like Be Witch and all that other, um, My Two Dad and all them type of stuff like that. Like how they had, um, how they had the mom and the dad sleeping in two separate beds and stuff. They did not find that appropriate because Robin, it's going to sound fruity and inappropriate, but Robin and Batman used to sleep in the same bed. People don't know that. So back then, yeah, they didn't, and they they didn't think that was acceptable. So now, when you now that they tone it down and made him a goo a, a goo ball, like Savage said, and and now you see what's going on, and they going back to what they were doing before. People have a problem with it because they don't understand that. They don't understand that, that they couldn't they couldn't do it before. 
but don't get it. Uh, I, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't even know that Batman and Robin used to sleep in the same bed. Yeah, Batman, please. Yeah, that was something I could try to forget. Yeah, yeah, it was some stuff that was going on that they did not approve of. When I find that, when I find the name of Austin, you you gonna watch that to see it. Like Superman and Supergirl, Supergirl having kids together. Right, what? right. Then people think about it. Like, oh, hold up, no, that's incest. I don't want to see that. How y'all feel about Savage though? Who? Who? Savage. About Man. Savage. Savage what? Mm-hmm. You know, you know, uh, in DC, no, I, 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 don't, don't make me say his name because I can't say it right. Oh, uh, Ray you Savage, not, Roy, uh, not Ray Savage, you uh, Vandal Savage, Vandal Savage, Vandal, Vandal. Oh, yeah. Savage. Oh, oh, that's my what ancestor. About what about him? Yeah. How you yeah. feel? I mean, like, you mean like, 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 what, like, what do we think of him as a character or whatever? Yeah. Like, whatever? I mean, what, what love you put him on, like. Oh. I don't know with me with Randall Savage, he like a B list character with A list abilities. I, mean, I will tell you this: I would like to see him in the movie. I would like to see him fight somebody in the movie. <coughs> I him a, him a bad shape. <coughs> I want to, yeah, I want to see now what character would I like for him to see? I, 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 I don't. Uh, Good brother Savage, uh, what character would you like to see your relative, your forefather, uh, fight? I think the closest you could come to this, and I'm going, I'm going off a ledge, man. Probably the Rock or something like that. Some stupid shit. No, no, I'm just saying, like, what, what superhero, what superhero would you like to see him fight? Who's the goal in a movie? Who's the goal versus Randall Savage? Yeah. Randall Savage was a beast. Not Randall Savage, my bad, my bad. Oh, oh. Savage was a beast. What, like, like that dude there is a beast. What, what's Savage's name? That uh, uh, they live forever. Van, Vandal Savage. Vandal, yeah. I don't know why that dude there. Randall beast. Savage, yeah. Him versus Booster Gold, that'd be a good ass fight. Cause you thinking about Randy Savage? Yeah. <laughs> why, 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 why is he not in no movies? Why is he not in no movies? I mean, cause I, he a, I think it's because he's a B-list character, personally. That's why I think he never made it to the movies. And he <coughs> and he will be a good fan favorite to see. But that's the only reason why he, you only see honestly, him on television. No, I, I, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Nobody that Vandal Savage actually enemies with has had a movie. I, I understand that. No, I'm just talking about mixing him up. No, up. I'm just saying, like, nobody he actually have a problem with even had a movie yet. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to introduce... Would you going to just introduce Vandal Savage for no reason? And just He just there? Man, he I know movie. his name. You know I his mean, name. The, the, closest thing, the closest thing they can do with Vandal Savage is what they did with him, is put him in the Legends of Tomorrow TV show. Wasn't he a, a, a Flash villain at one time, too? Yeah, but think about it. Yeah. They don't. The Flash fucked Flash up right no, now. Yeah, the Flash don't even got no movie. Uh, the Flash, uh, like we, one. who watched the Flash? The TV show, yeah, but we. I'm talking about this dude in his movie. In the like, movie, that that Flash is completely fucked up. Yeah, that 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 should be Wally West Flash. I call him clumsy. He like clumsy Smurf. I'm just saying, bro. The timeline of how they did all them characters in that movie is completely fucked up. Yeah. Batman, how Batman, just, how Batman, Batman, fifty something years old, mm-hmm. Superman, thirty something, Wonder Woman, you know, she, it's Wonder, yeah, yeah, it's Wonder you Woman. Say, you say Randall is fifty? No. No, no Batman. 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 They made him an old movie. man. You know, Randall is like like immortal. No, we he's we really not man. immortal, but he's been around I mean, since. Yeah, I mean, he's been he been a fuck. Yeah, he was a, the savage, savage was the caveman. He was a caveman. Yeah. yeah. They, they, he, he got him, and he not even a meta human. Hmm. Yeah, he, he just is. he just he got exposed to nymph metal. Yeah, he was sniffing that meth, and you know that's how he got that power. Sniffing that shit real yeah. hard. Whenever the whenever the uh, the rock hit the earth and everything like that. 
no, no, yeah, no, no, no. It I was one of one of the one of the rare medals that started the Batman medal event. Mm-hmm. Wasn't or uh, wasn't it? Wasn't that kind of mixing the Joker or the serum that he fell into? Had that yeah, but uh, Vandal Savage had the pure form. Van, um, the Joker fell in an impure form of the shit. Ah, okay, okay. Vanna mm. Savage slept next to the meteorite of the shit. And that's Did how he, he warm. Yeah. And that's how he became immortal, immortal and intelligent. Mm. Ah, oh yeah, that's right. He showed it was like he was one of the smartest people back then. I swear to God, man, y'all just y'all just taught me something. Oh damn. Hey, speaking about uh, teaching somebody something, and hey, what y'all think about Black Panther? nominated and winning three Oscars. People been talking about Black Panther not um shouldn't be or uh, winning Oscars that it should have been Batman back when all uh, the Dark Knight and why uh Black Panther is being nominated for all these different Oscars and they was able to still come home and grab three of the Oscars. You know what I'm saying? Never been done before in comic book history. Black Panther you know you know Squad you know won last year for best art direction. But you ain't get too much talk about that because they I don't think they really had that much competition. But this year here, we talking about a movie that not won one Oscar, not two, but three Oscars to bring it to the whole generation, letting you know these comic book movies is here to stay and for real. So what do y'all think about Black Panther and his uh, nomination and winning of the three Oscars? Well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. We already know why. Dame, because he's black. That's why they mad about that. But Thank let, you. I mean, but but if they really want to get mad about it, whatever, this is what you do. I, mean, I want everybody out there, and I want y'all to tweet this all around the world to people that's mad. This is what I want you to do. Go dig up Stanley body and kiss his ass. He came up with the character, although it was a black dude that drew it, but it was his idea that coming up with that character. So if you mad at that, go dig up Stanley body and suck his dick. And I ain't trying to hear that shit. Fuck out of here. The movie did good. It did what it did. They got the oxygen. Ain't nothing you can do about it. It's a good thing. And stop being mad because now all of a sudden people say that they ain't take comic books on movies serious. Well, guess what? It's serious now. Because these, because um, 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 uh, uh, what's that? Disney in the bank. In the bank with that check. That over, over, over there, over, 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 is, I know it's way over a billion dollars. Now, so they 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 in the bank right now. So you you gonna get mad? Get mad at Disney and um Stan Lee, cause they the one who did that shit. So, hey, so fuck you, you. you think it deserves the Oscars that it won? Man, it, it, it's it's nothing wrong. It did a good job. You can't see this the thing, people. You can't get mad if it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Like it's not bad. Like like come on. Now you gotta take. You got it is what it is. Comic books now, they take comic book movies seriously. They are the money maker now in this era. What makes right. money now? Comic books. I don't care. I don't care how poor uh 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 Green Lantern, uh uh Wonder Woman, uh uh uh, uh the wives, the Ant-Man and the wives is they they are the one that's running the show now. They are the lowest and the poorest one. Then you got the phenomenon, Batman, Man is still the Avenger, and, and so forth and so forth. Iron Man and stuff. You can't get mad now. You you can't hate the gang, baby. Don't hate the gang. And you're damn sure enough don't hate on black. That's all. You can't, you can't get mad at that. They did the, can, they did the damn it? thing. Go ahead. You got can it. I say? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, all I want to say is, first of all, I agree. But the only thing I want to like add to it is the one problem that I have with like society right now is nobody is looking to innovate and become something different and introduce a, something new and different. Everybody is lashing on to the past. And obviously the 80s and the 90s was the best shit that everybody ever seen. So like you got like shows and movies and TV shows and comics and shit that just coming back. My bad, I said shit. Uh, you got things that's coming back because nobody can make up something new, so they they relying on the old stuff that was already brought forth to right, them. Like the Ghostbusters, so, 
All the um, on, man. remakes of the movies and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. You got to remake. You got to twist this. You got to do that. You got to do that with a female. You got to do that, man. I don't want to hear that shit, man. You just can't come up with nothing different. So, so you just you just pull from the past, right? And so, by Black Panther being something that's unique that never been done before, that mean like you know, what I'm saying they they had uh, people keep it, people get mad. Some people get mad about it, and some people like. You know what I'm saying? Appreciating for what it is and actually for um a, you know announcing his presence by actually winning winning awards that's just due, as in it was actually a good movie. But a lot of people saying now this is the thing. So I want to know if y'all saying that Black Panther deserved the um the awards that it had reached, which one y'all think was a better movie then? Was it Black Panther? Because they both came out last year, or Avengers? So by People saying, well, Avengers didn't get a nominated for all these different awards, but they say Avengers was a better movie, but Black Panther was able to get a nominated for all these awards. So do y'all think that Avengers Avengers was a better movie than the Black Panther, or do y'all think that Black Panther was a better movie than Avengers? Can I can I can I can I speak for one second? Go yeah, go ahead. Um the only reason, first of all, Black Panthers was a good movie. Uh, Avengers it didn't live up to my expectations. And I'm biased by saying that because I know the comic books. As I said before. So that's the only reason I'm like biased on it. Because like by as a biased uh, opinion, Black Panthers was good because I know how Infinity War is supposed to happen. That's all I can say. Okay, so basically, uh, um, Affinity War didn't live up to your expectations, and Black exactly. Panther hit a more expectations than Affinity War did for you. Exactly. Okay, well, cool. I mean, that, that's an understandable point. So that made perfect sense. So, what, um, what about y'all? On uh, you, flip a savage. I'm gonna be honest. If we gonna go about living up the expectations and knowing the comic books, neither one of them live up to my expectations of the comic books because I know nope. both of the stories. Nope. Right. Mm. So nope. which one you which one you um think was a better movie out of Black Panther and um before as far as a better movie <clears throat> they wasn't what to me yeah wasn't what I agree I agree it was even to me I I, I can't say I prefer one over the other but like when you think about Black Panther you think about something not happening the way you wanted it to happen because you know the story. But when you think about Infinity Wars, like this, I mean, mutants tell you the versus truth. mutants mm -hmm. versus these All people right. versus these people. That wasn't like, even that the Infinity Wars crazy. story. That was the Infinity Gem story, to be honest. Yep. Okay. True. True. And they actually said that before the movie came out. Mm -hmm. True. I, I look at it like that. So anybody that got saw at the movie about there wasn't the Infinity War and this and that, they said it wasn't gonna be the actual Infinity War movie. So I mean, you if you got expectation to see something that they tell you not gonna see, that's on you. That's the way Either. I feel about it. Yep. True. True. I ain't get mad. Listen here. That's why I say I can't really put them down for it. I mean, it was a good movie. They like both were good movies, man. They was both I, good I movies. I didn't put them down. I I watched the movie like two times, three times, but he was he was saying like, what movie would I rather most? Yeah, which one a better movie? So yeah, I was saying, saying to me, what, ain't what, no what better think, movie. Uh, Endgame should have won some awards at the Academy or just Black. I don't Panthers know how Endgame ain't gonna win nothing since it ain't all. Yet. I mean, not Endgame, my man. You know, the, the other Avengers movie. Infinity I mean, War. look. I don't get into all that because I already know where it's going. I ain't even gonna get into that. <laughs> no, no, no. You have you you have perfect. No, I know exactly what Chuck Taylor. Yeah, see, see the thing about it is, Juke, you, you, like, you, you new to this here? See, they got a big open world. See, a lot of people don't know. Well, let me try to explain to you. Like, they got hardcore DC fans. They got hardcore Marvel fans. They got a lot of trolls about everything that you say. So certain topics, some people just like, well, I'm not really gonna oh. go too far because I don't want to be bothered with all the bullshit. You can't say what you want to say. Yeah, you can say what you want to say. You just got people that got different opinions, 
And when you get, if you get into this health, uh, black people voice their opinions and it could be completely opposite of your opinion. And it, it, y'all can go a lot back and forth with opinions and it depends on how, how you um would like to uh, deal with, with, with other people's, with their opinions. <laughs> Everybody had their own opinion. I feel you, Chuck, man. Yeah, yeah but it, and I, and but I don't with really me with care about other people's opinion. It, I mean, everybody got the right to have their own opinion. I'm not going to stress myself out about nobody else's opinion. Uh-huh. You know so what? I'll, I'll just rather I'll not get into the bullshit. I'll be careful <laughs> next time. Yeah. But now nah, you you good. You ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't the hardcore Marvel of the DC fan. You just you know it's a regular fan of the because you don't know nothing about that or the whole other world of how this stuff they got going on. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of comics, period. Right. Yeah, what they, they, they include DC, Marvel, or anime? Right. Just a fan. And so am I. That's why I don't get into the debates about who's better because I don't feel like nobody is. There you go. The only, only, only the best comic book character that I ever read and seen was myself when I look in the mirror. Hi, bro. Good. Good. I mean, Myself. I do have a favorite comic book <laughs> character. You know what I'm saying? I, I, got but, Sasuke. I got Sasuke. I mean, uh, I'm talking uh, about for characters. I'm talking about for actual Superman. actual oh. comics. I ain't talking about mangas. Okay. Mangas. That's a that's a different world. That's a different world. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, who would be your favorite? Uh, that's your, like uh, saying uh, cartoons and anime is the same. Right, yeah, that's completely different. Or uh, yeah, categories. So, so Joe, you knew him. What's your favorite um Marvel or DC character? You talking about me? Yeah. Who you talking about? DC or Marvel? Yeah, which one will be your favorite no, character? For yeah, DC and Marvel. Shit, man! Can I have a can I have a moment? Like, yeah, I, I give you, I give you a moment. You know, some of us just got our favorite character on on Cox. So as soon as I say, "What's your favorite character?" Man, my favorite character. Then this is why, because you know, uh, yeah, I we mean, got we got we got our we got our we got our pick we got our picks and choosing. You know how they say you ain't got a favorite. On, on Cox, I'm saying Superman, but I mean, but I mean, I gotta think about it. Well, will it whenever you whenever. Uh, uh, hey, what's that? What's old boy name? Um, if it's old boy, it can't be your favorite. Man, yeah, it is old boy though. Yeah, but you, what's, if uh, your favorite character, how you gonna say old boy? Now, if it's yeah, somebody that I think is I. Matter of fact, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's that's the way I talk. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna apologize for that. Uh, what's the chick that um? That no magic. Superhero, Wonder Woman, Squirrel Girl. Yeah, that, that, that's that's chaos. Yeah, squirrel Girl. <laughs> you think you no magic? Or you talking about? Uh... Man, stop with the Squirrel Girl. Hey, what? Well, uh, Enchantress. Come on, Enchantress on DC. I don't know why you like it? I don't know why? Her Who's father. it? Are you talking about Enchantress on DC? Yeah. Okay. What's her father? You said what's her father? Yeah. I don't know Enchantress father. I know uh Raven father. Didn't know baby. I don't know what uh Seb, you know who Enchantress father was? Or did they say I don't think she Man, Enchantress, I don't know. That's a fucking ancient spirit. All right, well, I got, hey, I got, I got one more for you. Don't ask me that. Everybody that's on the panel, everybody that's on the panel, everybody that on, um, that come to the show, I got this, this, this is an ongoing question I ask everybody. Okay, out the Netflix shows, out the, out the, uh, out, out the Netflix, just specifically Netflix, you know, your dad, devil, your Luke Cage, your Iron Fist, your Jessica Jones, your Defenders, your Punisher. What is your favorite, um, your favorite three and what's your, la- um, the worst two? And if you want to, you can you can say a season if you want. You ever do? And he can't hear. Oh, is it mine? Flip, you can hear me. I'm still here. You still there? Yeah, I was about to say, man, I thought the podcast had messed up for a second. <laughs> 
But hey, say Joe. Um, go ahead and talk. What character he was, you know, with previous season? No, yeah. no, no. So uh, yeah, Joe, you there? I remember. Bro. I asked everybody that all uh, that come around. Other other Netflix show. Which one your favorite? Your favorite three? And um, what's your worst two out the Netflix shows? I don't know. You talking to somebody in this background? I like you were talking to somebody in this background. They grabbed it. Yeah, he probably he probably is. He probably uh some technical difficulties on the question. No, I'm just listening. Man, I'm at, I asked you a question. What's up? No, I said what well, um out of the no. all of the DC <laughs> Netflix shows, what is your top three and what is your worst two? Top three, worst two, man. Are right, the Netflix shows you got Iron Fist, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, The Punisher, and you can say like, oh, oh, it could be the favorite season. Like, it could be the um Daredevil season two was one of your favorite, you know, out your top three. And you can say your bottom two. It could be like with me personally, it was my worst one was Jessica Jones season one and season two. I was the dunk in my worst two. For sure, um, I got um a special love for uh for Daredevil. The, the reason I like Daredevil because when that dude get punched in the eye on the first episode and he have a black eye, like he still have a black eye like the fourth episode. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it carry on. So that's why I like Daredevil. Um, and that's the same reason I like uh, Punisher. Um, of course, I like oh, Umbrella. But what season was season? Season was your favorite season. What was, which one of them shows? Was, yeah, which one was your favorite season? One, two, three. Which one? Which one you can go back and look at it over and over again? I think I'm a. I think I'm gonna say one. Season one of the um, Daredevil. Yeah, I think I. I, I think so. I think so. That uh, be your favorite one. Yeah, I think I, I think because like. That's the first time I seen somebody get hurt and stay hurt the whole fucking season. Right. I yeah. said, you I said right about it. I ain't never thought about that because because most TV shows at the end of every episode, everything looked like evil. They heal up. Yeah. I I think I like Daredevil because whenever he got punched in the ribs, three episodes later, you could see that he was still holding his ribs. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's why I liked about Daredevil. Um, I think they continued it with uh, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones and Iron Fist or whatever. I think they continued it, but they didn't do it as much as The Punisher. The Punisher, he get a cut on his eye on the first episode. He got a cut on his eye the last episode. It don't go away. It don't go away. So that's what I like. All right. So what about your worst two? This this is what I want to know. Like out of all the all the all the season, what was the worst two? The, you, you, like the bottom, the very bottom. Ain't no maybe no. Like what is the bottom two? You talking about episode? You talking about TV shows that's like that or just period? Yeah, seasons like uh, of the Netflix show. The seasons like you got. Like I, I, I express it over and over. My bottom two was just season one was bottom all the way. Season two was the bottom under that. And if I had to go three, I say defenders. Man, bro, I, I don't think that's fair to to yeah, add. It fair. It's not fair. It's it's not fair because you don't use the same kind of. Uh, device that I use. So being a, in your comfort zone, yeah. um I would say defenders and, you know, one, and even, yeah yeah one of the worst you said two of them so yeah. defenders and even though I advertised it Doom Patrol it's just the worst of them. No, Doom Patrol. That's on. Uh, that's on another. That's on another network. 
What, the, CW. Is Hulu or something like that's, that? No, nah, it's on. It's on. Yeah, I think is it on Hulu? I don't know if it's on Hulu, but that that's uh that's what you call the network. That's uh DC the DC uh, network. WB. Yeah, that did yeah, what he just said. Man, I use something totally different. I don't use Netflix. Oh, you know, well, let me tell you the, the ones that's on Netflix: Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Daredevil, and The Punisher. Man, you gonna make? I think Jessica Jones the second the second season. Oh, the second season will be the worst for you. The second uh, worst. The, hey, the first season was good. The second season, I wasn't. I wasn't too. Caught okay, up so in. now I'm just gonna boil it down to the main question. Jessica Jones and Iron Fist, which one was worse? Or which one was better? Jessica Jones was was worse. You say Jessica Jones was worse than Iron Fist? Yes, sir. Okay, well, look, that's one that's one on my team for that one then. But that, like a lot of, some people say, <laughs> some people say they like, <laughs> some people say they like Jessica Jones better than Iron Fist. Some people say like Iron Fist better nah, than Jessica it was, Jones. It was whack. Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell a lot of people. Some people say, man, Jessica John was good, and Fitz was bad. It was white. Yeah, yeah, that that's cool. So uh so since we got that out of the way, man, we well, I don't want to stray too far from the um the Oscars, because we still got another Oscar um uh, winner that actually won an Oscar for having the best animation. It was Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Which really yes, and truly sir. was a damn good ass movie from the beginning. Yes, I, I I went into the movie and I was like, okay, it's, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna be watered down, but the way they presented it, like the writing yes, and the way they, the art design and the way they came with the characters, that was like one of my best movies of last year. After I sit back and I really let it simmer and and, and soak, that that movie was damn good. So, um, so what y'all think about Spider Man into the Spider Verse winning winning an Academy Award and by being awesome. for the animation? Awesome. Uh, awesome. Man. I mean, I, awesome. it's cool. Awesome. They they got my money, so they they should have got it. I I I, I uh, up there. I, like I, like I, we're we're. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh man! I mean, you know, I ain't worried about the animation movie. I don't worry about that. So you, don't that you, don't, you don't think that that's what that trophy was? It just a here you go trophy? Nah, because I don't care about it. It's an animation movie. I don't. Oh, think so you animation... didn't like, like the Spider Man? No, it ain't the. No, I liked it. I just don't take an animation movie serious. The real live action movie, like character that could really act. You see that expression on their face and stuff, compared to like animation movies or whatever. I do have a question. Yeah. To me, that's on two different levels. So I mean, I don't, I don't really care about it. Oh damn! Well, 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 well basically, like, let's say for example, okay, do you think? I mean, I know they can't. They, they we're not judging it against other movie, other type of movie. It's just being judged as Zone. animation and, and by and by the category that is in just for the the best, best you know, animation animated movie, drawing movie. Oh well, out, yeah. What they did that. Oh well, yeah, yeah, well, then, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. So what? Um. So what? What, 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 what would you about to ask a question about, Joe? Man, I do have a question, man. Uh. So. My thing is like I'm talking about like 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, stuff like that, like those years. Man, did y'all see the um I hate to bring this up again, but did y'all see um the preview for Lion King? No, I, 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 I seen the preview of it. I seen it. Okay, okay. I wanted them to do Dragon Ball like they did Lion King. Can you imagine it? Nah, that would be I think they tried to do that once before, didn't it? Man, if if they if you if you haven't seen Lion King trailer, then you don't know what I'm talking about. You're talking but about if you didn't see it, yes. If you if you do Dragon Ball the way they did Lion King, my God, like that is like top box 
money selling over the place. Like that's crazy. I'm I'm going to go see the uh, I'm going to go look at the trailer so I can see what you're talking about. Keep talking about some damn Lion King. But the uh, Man. Hey, the Dragon Ball, the Super Street Fighter. I mean, the Super Street Fighter. The um, Super Dragon Ball. It actually did good in the movie theaters last year. Man, go see Lion King uh, trailer and and imagine that it's Dragon Ball. I'm gonna go. Uh, I say I'm gonna go check it out. But you know, I ain't messing with no damn Lion King. But they are uh, the Dragon Ball. If they, if, I, I, I think I know the art style you're talking about. It's pretty much same thing how they did with the Jungle Book. That's that's who the, the directed it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's the same. It's the same art style with it's uh, a little battle angel. They kind of went with the same, um, the same graphic design. Well, it's like half animation and half re uh, real stuff in there to kind of blend in together. Exactly. Yeah. I got I mean, Dragon Ball. I could see them on doing a, um, doing something on that level, but I think it would be too over budget for them to actually pull something exactly. like that off for a Dragon Ball movie. It's, I think it'll be. I, I think it'll be an overkill. It'll be. It'll be amazing, but I, I think it'll be a little bit too hard for them to do and keeping it within a budget. But that that for them to do that, they have to have a, like a Jurassic Park budget or some shit like that. Something that's guaranteed, like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But shit, man. Hey, the time went by first. I ain't must know there was um two hours to pass by. So you know, oh, so I know they got. Hell yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh. I know that. Huh? So, uh, yeah. hey, anything y'all want to say anything else before we get up out of here? Uh, chaos really had to get off because he was on a date to get them demons out his soul. So, <laughs> let's 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 man, uh, chaos gonna get you, man. Hey, let's do jumping, let's hey. do jumping to Jesus and hope that he stay on the right path. Hey, but hey, say flip, did not call it though. Did not call it. I know, I know. I know. You yeah. call this the what? You call that one, yo. You hey, bro, no, hey, and that's a, that's an inside joke. Well, matter of fact, I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell everybody. So they, so so in, anybody that rocking with us, they're gonna be inside this joke too. Especially if you stayed this long. All right, the whole scenario is chaos. You know what I'm saying? He he doing this thing. He got something. Got somebody. He, you know what I'm saying? He chilling with and stuff like that. I say now watch chaos when he come back to the podcast. He gonna go from saying God in that old high pitched voice that be getting on people nerved. I be thinking be so funny. I say when he come in um next week, he gonna have that bare white deep voice, or he gonna go as deep as he possibly can. I said, watch my words. And then when he came on the podcast today, he did exactly that. So that's pretty much what uh that pretty much what that happened. So when people uh when y'all here, we was talking about it. That's what's going on. So chaos. I know that you probably still listen to the podcast. That's what we was laughing about about the joke. That's you no, know, it's in a little inside joke. Yeah, yo, it's it's. it's <laughs> That's the oh yeah, got all. He got all. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Yeah, that they, that was the boy, man. The dude that is crazy, man. But uh, he'll he'll be back with us next week. We are gonna bring some more um some more heated topics to y'all. You know we got we got you know say we doing this thing. I appreciate everybody that rocking with us. I want y'all to like, subscribe, put it on, put it out there, reshare. That way we can start building up because you know what I'm saying we're trying to take this to the next level. And I appreciate everybody that rocking out rocked out with us tonight. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a blessed night. You know what I'm saying? For all my music matter humans out there, get on y'all Xbox and y'all PlayStation and get y'all gaming on because we're gonna be about this thing and we'll see y'all next week. Peace.